Welcome back to the Nautical Pastafarian Colony. A little bit has changed. I did a filler video, so for folks watching the stream, uh, I will really quickly explain what has sort of changed. And if you're watching the videos, uh, it won't be much different from the last one. Um, uh, we have two new colonists, most notably. We've been joined by Lucky and Ren, two colonists I kind of painstakingly sifted through the, the unwashed masses to find because I don't like most people in this game. Uh, we do have merchants. I, our lives have improved significantly. Uh, we have decent combat capabilities now and the ability to actually produce more resources. Still kind of looking for that that one special resource that we might use for uh, more tasks and whatnot. But we've opened out a doorway here to the east. Uh, our bedrooms are more or less done. And I would say that this colony is now ready to do a couple of things. One, Lucky was a useful colonist because he's able to do, well, nothing particularly good, but he's squeamish and brave, so we're having him just clean up all of the messes in the entire colony, which is very good for keeping everything, I don't know, under under lock and... Lock and key. What is the, the, the word that escapes me right now? Well, either way, he cleans and he's just generally serving us. And Ren is happens to be good at a lot of things. Both of them are decent at combat, so that's good. And he's a staggeringly ugly psychopath. I disagree with the hairstyle. He looks more like someone who fought in, you know, maybe like the rev, uh, Revolutionary War. I don't know, like ancient haircut, but uh, handsome for its time. Uh, maybe has like an archaic, well, whatever it is, whatever your opinion might be on his hair, uh, he is pretty useful because he can be a researcher. He's a good guy. We've filled our fridge to the brim. We got pumpkin spice coffee, which was uh, really just unnecessary, but it came down from the heavens. We got geothermal power going. This area is going to be way too hot still, but we're trying to like roof it in. We've got some deterioration going here, I believe, but do we? Oh, actually not in this room, but I believe in this room. Somewhere there is deterioration going on. We're trying to get a little bit more limestone here. We're trying to limit the um, the uh, infestations. But the main issue was just that I, I kept getting killed. Like, I kept getting killed horribly. And I don't like it when a playthrough ends because I just overlook something in terms of security. Uh, so I, I did go back and just kind of do some triage on my own. Other than that, we have a couple of cows. We got a lucky trader. Uh, when they came around. The only time I've really traded for cows ever, which was super lucky. And aside from the time that I played with Jimmy, which was a, just a good memory. Um, yes, he's bringing back mutton chops and wearing them proudly. He's a l He kind of reminds me of a, a schlad a little bit. Um, I'm, I'm really happy with that hairstyle making a comeback. We've got some good wine here. Uh, we've got enough money to spare, so I think I'm just going to use this to hold them over. Does this age or something like that? Large bottle of alcoholic beverage is made from fermented grapes. Excessive consumption can lead to alcohol, black helps, and over time addiction. Excellent. Uh, so we will have uh, some of that. Not really a lot. I don't... I, I think as long as we don't have, like, uh... Oh, first off, we're not really wined. Why did we just leave a platypus here in the floor? Someone should get rid of that. We've been attacked by a lot of, uh, platy... Platypi. Platypi, I believe it is. Coffee's good for research. Probably, um, yeah, I, once I get more beverages, I can set some more directed policies just so that they'll always have coffee. In fact, let's examine that because I think that this could be quite overpowered. Solar flare, not a great event, but okay. And Nick Hill and uh, Atherness, thanks very much for the subs, my friends. Much appreciated. Hmm. So, me thinks... Methinks if we do assignments, dr drug policies, <laughs> naughty, naughty. Uh, is that an Austin Powers quote and I unintentionally did it? Cigarettes, they can use them for, what do cigarettes do for them anyway? Consciousness plus 10%, hunger rate offset minus, ooh, that's quite good. Uh, I'm imagining that cigarettes would have a, more of a tendency to get them addicted there. What does the royal insect jelly do? It just improves moving speed. I really don't think that's that good. Uh, let's get the, uh, wish I could look it up. Uh, where is it? Gin. Ah, uh, gin. I remember back in my days of drinking gin. Supposedly gin changes your personality. Let's go ahead and say this can happen. Is there any addiction? New addiction min... Okay, so it's very difficult to get addicted to pumpkin spice coffee. 
Uh, yeah, let's say if mood is below... I don't know, uh, 60... Let's just see what happens if we get them all addicted to it. I don't know, I've never had this happen. It'll probably be bad. Frequency every day. I think that there's... Can we, wait a minute, can we get information? Does it say safe... Uh, addiction safe interval? Uh, severity interval daily... Where is it? Hmm... Safe dose interval, 1.0 days. Okay, so that's fine. Very addictive coffee. We got smoke leaf. I, I'm trying to get us off smoke leaf, though, because I personally don't like it that much. Duckbill platypus has an extremely dead... L it, a platypus has barbs? I'm, I've never observed one. Though I did start to see a lot more amphibians around where I'm at. Like there was a sage toad in a parking lot. I was like, why isn't he leaving a park? Why is he in a parking lot? Well, he was there, nonetheless. And there was a frog on my deck uh, a couple months ago. I can't wait to see more. Good animals. One of the better, uh, what, do, what do we call that? Genres of animals. Spe not species. What is it? Wh how, what is the difference between those things? Amphibians versus mammals versus reptiles. What is the word to categorize all of that stuff? There's too many words in English. It's my influence the end. Yes, maybe the, I thought it was fitting. I was like, hmm. That is my channel name. I was like, although I haven't really ever had anything to do with amphibians, in a sense. All right, let's go ahead and build out this fridge. And we also just want to spend a lot of time taking a, a good hard look at our uh, um, our defenses. So I'm going to go ahead and haul in a lot of these limestone blocks. And in fact, I think we'll make these urgent hauls because, whoops, urgent hauls, because we just need a lot of that stuff in here. The bird is the word, a genus, fauna, the class. I think we're all getting kind of mixed up. What is it? Kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus, species. But don't forget domain at the beginning of all of that. There's so many biology words to remember. It must be fascinating. I had a great bio teacher. Uh, ooh, sad. This my bio teacher. Uh, so, oh, we didn't actually want this one. Okay, so that was one that we did not accept, but the game expected me to accept. And I don't go by your expected expectations. None of what I do is accepted. All right, well, we got cigarettes. Uh, we've pretty much just said don't do that. How long is damage? Wouldn't... Okay, so she destroyed the dining chair. This is the, the comeback of being big-boned, unfortunately. Hmm. Amphibians don't breathe underwater. They have large lung capacity. The more you know. The more you know. No storage space. Oh, ah, ooh. Ooh, uh, ah. Expand over yonder. There we are. All right, good. Uh, now, the main thing that I've been aiming to do is get more stone blocks going. Oh, Frab just day. Another double A stream. Oh, that rhymed so nice. Wait, did it rhyme? Yes, it did because of the double A. KXZ501, thanks you very, thank you, thanks you. I don't know why I'm developing like a speech impediment being a thank you very much for the 2,000 bits very generous donation Jesus Christ my friend oh, Thank you Kalukale I want to know that about the mods too. I'm trying to think of where that came from Frab just day my dad used to always tell us that my dad kind of gave me the like what I would consider reverse pressure when I would grow up my entire family is all English majors no one had any plan um, and it was almost like pressure to study literature in college. Can you think of any family where that's the case? It's an odd family to grow up in. But he would always reference all of this literature, like, uh, what is it, the Ogden Nash? A flea and a fly and a flu were in prison, so what could they do? That said the fly, let us flee, let us flee, said the fly, so they flew through a flaw in the flu and all of that. So that's what he would do that. But I always feel kind of... Oh, or rarely do I explain that, as but it, every game it, it is nice to talk box. about it. I back quote G like to tell you of existence of space engineers. Third mm. game by time played on my Steam account. Love your narrative philosophical style. Keep on your content. Love mm. ya. Ah, oh, love ya too. Uh, with the L U V. That's how you know it's truly a true quark. Thank you very much for the three dollars. Man, space engines actually reminds me of a. It, it's almost like there's two weird uh, sides to it. It's not uh, Frab. Yes, Frab just day is from Jabberwocky by Lewis Carroll. Um, fascinating story behind that as well 
But um, oh, I forgot to type in exclamation point RimWorld mods for the uh, for the stream. Let me uh, because it's gonna X out. I'll just say that right now. Yeah, for the Twitch control, it is exclamation point rim, rim R W mods. I I forget to put that in. I apologize for that. It is under the vods, but I should have said that in the title. Um, but yes, that's that's the story about me. Mm. Didn't do anything with a develop. I'm a developer now. Well, I have a buddy who'd studied journalism, and now he's a software engineer. Um, ooh, where are we now? Good, good. A lot of people have found their way in this. In this new world order. In this new world order. Good, we're redeveloping the wall on the outside. We did get a carpenter come by, so nowhere is safe. We have a psychic drone on males, but that's all right. The only two that I think will go crazy are Dan, because we have moderate psychic drone. Ooh, this is a moderate. Cicero once said everything in moderation, but not psychic drones. He didn't know of the future. 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 Ah, it's time for another door. Once we get that built, then we can safely build a double doorway between there and the infirmary. Uh, there we are. What will happen first that will go wrong? So Dan will probably snap into insanity. We're going to go ahead and just uh, make up for this and overcompensate with large grand statues out the bazoo. The wazoo, the whatever it is. Um, yes, it is a very large list of mods. That is... Um, or I think the more specific one is going to be under this is under the VOD series, but I my Twitch one is just I do one because it's you can't you don't have a description box on Twitch, which is which is too bad unfortunately. Forbidden human, thank you for the prime. Halfway to oh yeah, so Triple G brings up a good point. Some of my colonists are experiencing adversity right now, so we need to. Uh, replace a lot of the limbs that they have. I mean, the right leg on Sling Slasher is just going to have to come off, unfortunately. Because, you know, slight pain, coming off, and all of that good stuff. Hmm. Oh, what else should we do? Ah, huzzah, another thing that I have found that we must do is... Tree cutting. Tree cutting is okay. Yeah. That's good. I like that. All right, does everyone have a bed? Lucky, you have a bed. You have a normal bed. Ren, do you have a bed? Where do you sleep? Ren does have a bed. Okay, I, I stand correct. I thought that he didn't have a bed. Strange fact, but not a lot of people know it, is that wooden beds are actually more comfortable than, like, stone beds. So although that a bed that's marble, or at least I believe... I believe that this is true. Stone bed, although it can be nicer, it's often less comfortable. I think that the one other material, though, that's more luxurious, that's still comfortable, is like gold. I mean, don't ask me about that one. I guess it's like the... It's not just a block of gold. Unless if you really enjoy bullion that much, to that great an extent, that you would enjoy sleeping on a brick of gold. Like, yes, this is just how I sleep. I'm just built different from everyone else. No, go see a psychiatrist, you know? That's, uh, you got, probably, you have some problems if that's, if that's how you like things. Yeah, but I won't allow that in my, uh, in my house. Now, let's do important priority. We'll do medicine, medicine, medicine. Uh, whoops, I don't mean medicine, medicine. That is industrial medicine. I mean herbal medicine. And by herbal medicine, I mean herbal medicine. Mm, what is one more more comfortable than stone? How do you tell me not to sleep on my slate fireplace? Ha! <laughs> I laugh at you. Uh, oh no, not the... Yes, I know we are destroying the environment rampantly, but uh, at the same time, there is no consequence of environmental degradation or destruction in RimWorld. It's just use whatever you can. We're ruthless capitalists with a communist... Uh, well, we have a ruthless capitalist... Uh, like, you know, economy, but we have a communist rule, because you just do what I tell you. Actually, that's not really, well, it is what it is. Basically, in practice, yes, yes, I think that's fair. I think that's completely fair. All right, who else needs a work command? Who needs a work command? I'm going to give Ren the work command so that we get re uh, research done faster. All right, so Ren should be researching quite quickly. 360... 363, I believe that does. And we're going for beer brewing right now, but we're going to go into microelectronics because he looks a little bit, shall we say, low-tech at that bench right there. Uh, and I, I don't like putting more than one colonist on this task. Otherwise, it just seems like kind of a waste of time. 
Uh, beer brewing. Okay, good. Research screen. I believe there is one more thing that we want to do. I think we want to do drug production because this may be psychiatry refining. Maybe? Mm. Let's do microelectronics because it's just going to make everything faster. Confirm. I will allow it. Hmm. Oh, dear God. Jesus Christ. The Royal Mail TTV. Hey, thank you, the Royal Mail TTV, for the 20 gift subs. If you're getting a gift sub, please be sure to say thanks. Because now Dan is going on a caffeine binge. Alas. Gift subs don't mean caffeine binges. I mean, can this really be that bad? I would rather I would rather that he just get addicted, to be honest with you. They make an awful lot of coffee in Brazil. That's a lot. That's uh, He's going to drink one coffee for every gift sub. Well, thank you very, very much. Thank you, Royal Mail TTV. If you have any uh, uh, requests or anything like that, please be sure to run them by me. That is, that is quite a nice, generous thing to do. Hmm. Just a small thanks for the content, my friend. Ah, well, God bless you. Thank you very much for the kindness. I, I do appreciate that. You can die from caffeine. Wait a minute. You can die from a caffeine overdose? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, wait. Are you lying to me? I've never used this in the game. Let's see who has the best relationship with Dan and arrest him. As we do it. As we usually do with people who drink too much coffee. Do you think this would happen if you go into Starbucks? Like, sir... Do you know if you drink another cup? Oh no, you have only a- how do you have only a 40% chance? 83% chance, that's pretty good. 40% chance. What do you have, 75% chance? Okay, I'm willing to- what about Ren though? Okay, it's going to be pesto. Ah, uh, he's trying to sell me something. Dan, your room is converted to prison because of this. Here we are. Ar arrest this man. I think the social skill... Oh, is it the social skill? I suppose that it's that. I thought it had to do with the relationship with the person, too. I try to make it so that one colonist who's good friends with another one arrests the other, because I never want to make two colonists enemies. Otherwise, they'll do things like get into fights. Um, you know, arrest people who drink coffee. I'm going to summon Spiff if I talk... Oh, yeah, that'll happen. Um, uh, I've already said my, my piece, though, on beverage, on beverage consumption. This is, what, the third coffee? I won't allow that. All right, we're going to have to make him into the saltiest semen again. <laughs> that sounds so violent and strip him. Uh, no. They take off your clothes to execute. <laughs> oh, I love that. I love that. Depends on the player it represents. Could be an AI connected to... Okay, hang on a second. Mm. You will be reappointed. Expected quality 100%. Okay, we have to reconvert him. We understand you had a, a bad time with the coffee thing. Just, it's alright. Just, uh... He's gonna be pretty glad for a while. Gorgeous environment. Socialize with the combat. Aren't you at least glad that you drank all that coffee, though? Was imprisoned. That's not so bad, though. Though he doesn't get that good catharsis that we wanted. Check his health tab for the addiction. Caffeine tolerance, small. Okay, so he's fine. He made it. Don't have another one. Uh, maybe you should give a speech to all of us about how you feel about everything that you just did. Can I reassure him? Certainty is based on the... Uh, no, but what we do need to do is start converting our other people. Convert someone who's asleep. Uh, what is Ren at? We still are in the process of converting these guys, Lucky and Ren. Eh, actually, thinking they're pretty stable. Somehow I feel as though it makes them more unstable if they're converted to our ideologian. Wow, <laughs> oh, that is funny. Get out of bed. I'm going to convert you. Get out of bed. There we go. Alright, not very effective, but okay. Like he was upset by the attempt, but now does this actually hurt their social relationship? I have not done this much yet. Lucky, uh, all right, he uh, feels slighted, but that's about it. That's about it. Didn't realize I had a Twitch until two VTubers talked about me. Which VTubers? Hmm. I'm trying to think of other. The only. I'm trying to think of guys I. Occasionally, I've had a couple of run-ins with Baru. He's good. He's a nice guy. I like him. 
Don't forget his- Oh, yes, thank you for the bed remembrance. Very good for colonists. Mm. Oh, I'd love to go check them out. Thank you very much, Elliot, man. Two, three, four. Much, ap much appreciated for tipping me onto that. Mm. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, V-tubing. V-tubing. V-tubing... Has it, VTubing is actually very interesting. It's like it's taken off in ways that I never really expected it would. I think mainly due to people like uh, who is it? Code Miko, right? Then she. I never really expected somebody to do that, but it was such an just an interesting idea. Like just a really involved animation rig, kind of kind of neat. Uh, whatever your thoughts are on VTubing, and it is a controversial subject. It is, but that's why we're talking about it. That's why we're talking about it. The foreboding blueprint. Oh, this do be one of those quests where they, you, they try to get you to, to build a big house, right? A big house. Big Lego set. I won't have any of that. We did get hand grenades, though. We could blow up these corpses, but tell you what, I'm really trying to keep these corpses here. And I didn't do this now, but let's go ahead and just check this out. Uh, I do want to check if it's deeper under the montañas that this happens or not. If we check the... In f ooh, interaction. Ambi, in hello. Infest. Hello back to you. Hey, Blade Man, thank you for the 11 months. My God, we're so close to a year now. Oh, how exciting, how exciting. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for the subs. Mm. All right, so we are getting the kind of bluish tone here. And it does get even deeper blue, deeper under the mountain. So despite the fact that I've put all these corpses in here, it appears bluer and truer to me here. Uh, mm, whoops, wrong one, there we go, that's good, that's good, which hunter is complaining now, whoops, I gotta turn that back off, there we go, oh yes, that's because we arrested you, because you're bad, get another, get another, and you'll like it. Uh, do I have a mod list? Yes, uh, exclamation point RW mods. Thank you for that. Thank you. If, uh, if, if anyone asked for that, if you guys could help me out there, I'd appreciate that. I forgot to put that into the title. Thank you. All right. Let's go ahead and get this ready. Um, yeah, we could get Dan, like, another smoke leaf or something like that, but do we really want to re uh, recommend or risk that? Not really. So I think for right now, we're pretty much safe. We've got seven spike tra uh, sorry. Pardon that. Six spike traps between us and them. And we've got more limestone on the way. We've got a double thick uh, THI double C uh, refrigerator. So that's good. What else do we need to do, though? We need to get more wood. Um, mm, who, who do be doing this? Let's get the food schedule up and running. Okay, that's all right. What I would like to do next is to get out my refrigerator. And it, roof collapse. Where have that? Ooh. Okay, we have to build a column. Post? Ruined. Ooh, a ruined column. I guess I'll use steel just because this is kind of urgent. Go. Go, my child. Go, my child. Build. Build. For I don't want mechanoids coming through the roof. There we go. Good, good. Just put some sketchy, uh, corrugated cardboard on the roof. I like to think that that's corrugated cardboard. We should also probably murder these rhinoceri now that they're in. Yeah, see, a mad boomalope. I don't, I don't mess with that. I don't mess with that at all. Can you try? Can you try? No, that's not, that doesn't look like trying to me. All right, get out of there. Get out of there. All the doors are just gone. No, yeah, just, you know, give up give up. This will be saddening. I don't even want to be near there when this happens. Uh, no, little poodle. Well, I didn't really care for these poodles. You know what? Just... What an awkward spot for it to be downed. Everybody get back in. Alright, it's just... <sighs> It's animal killing time. I'm sorry. I, I gotta keep doing this. They just wander in and just live their lives, and I won't allow this. I won't allow this to happen. Uh, but this is also, like... Uh, I don't like any of that. 
The rhinoceroses are like, we're just here. We, we pay our taxes and we aren't doing anything wrong. You know, absolutely, of course you're not. Until I kill your whole family. Is it just one? No, uh, don't approach it. Whoops. That was a senior moment. Uh, no, get away from that. Get away from- Stop shooting, slinging slasher. All right, that one I did deserve. That one I did deserve, admittedly. All right, you get in bed. We're lucky that they didn't all also die. Pesto, you go back and heal. In fact, stand there. Oh, unfortunately, you have this thing on you. Good, get out of here. I don't need you here. I don't need you. Okay, now go care. Uh, I don't like having these things around because if one of them goes crazy in the base when they're working and I don't have all seven of my people around, then that could lead to certain doom. That was too close. 15 hours. Did we at least hit one of its legs? Not enough. Dan, move. Get moving, Dan. Get out of there. Yeah, good job, Dan. All right, now we will wait f uh, out in the open for that. Do as I- Oh no, I didn't say to do that yet! Oh, all of the rhinoceri wanted revenge. Or rhinoceros- Rhinoceries? Five meat soup- I know, we're making all of the- I'm probably gonna go to jail for what I'm doing right now. Um, hmm. No, just stay away from that. How many hours until this thing's death? One hour. Okay, it's fine. We'll just babysit it a bit. Now, the doors will go on fire because they are pasta fires. When will we be installing a beer volcano? I know, we have to... Yo, we're trying to get to the... Uh, the pasta celebrations. And they have to have Festivus and all of that other good stuff. Hey, Jester559, it's Sinful Basilisk. How are you doing? Thanks very much for the, uh, for the subs. Eight months, God bless. Yeah, it's been a, it's been a good long time. A good long run. Ah, these are all my dead animals now. Well, that was actually quite a calm explosion. I do rather like that. I did find that agreeable. Uh, why are we not... Is it not in the home zone? No, it is. Is someone going to beat that up? Beating fire out? I guess they prioritize different fires. And that's the way it's going to be. Very good, very good job, everyone. PETA would do the, yeah, PETA wouldn't allow this either. I don't know what their stance is on virtual animals, though. Maybe, like, they have something for NFT animals. Like the, what is it, the board eight, yeah, ape. Uh, uh, return to monkey. Reject modernity, there we are. Um, in intense pain, yeah, you'll be fine. Failed to convert, lucky, that's... Wait, you actually get a mood debuff for converting to... Convert? Failing to convert someone? Interesting. Well, I may as well go on to the first of my... I know it's been a, a long time, but let's go on to the first of my piratey adventures. We'll reinstall this thing over here. And then we're gonna go ahead and, um, actually we'll make that even further out. We'll reinstall this out here. And then we're going to just bring back this whole wall. I have unminify everything. This is one of the mods I chose because it just makes life much easier. Um, reinstall this here and reinstall this one here. And basically, I want to just make a lot more room for, um, doing a cooler and a, uh, and make the research room a little bit bigger, but mostly this will just be, uh, beer cooling. We want to go from fridge to beer cooler, but we've also got to do all of this temperature control, and I just need so many layers to get it done. Um, and it could be at the same temperature as the research room. It's kind of killing two birds with one stone, so we might as well just do it. Infestation in the bedrooms is pretty fun. Uh, actually, bedrooms is not such a bad place to get an infestation, in my opinion. Sh smaller hallways. Um, try searching for buried treasure. How dare you convince me to bear it? Uh, no, of course I. I always abandon my morals. Um, hmm. Hmm. Good. Man, look at how good a job Lucky is doing. Can we just congratulate? Can everyone please congratulate Lucky? There's nothing like knowing that your colony is safe enough that you can have a cleaner just going around and just cleaning everything. It feels really nice. Can everyone just please congratulate them for a, a minute? I, he really needs that confidence, vote of confidence. That would be nice. It'd be very nice of you to do that. Uh, I really think that you all should do that. Dan, what what does Dan do? Consumes Dan just sits around and is upset. He has ennui. There we go. 
You know what, Dan? Uh, you can go and... Why don't I just have you drop it on ground? Because I don't know why I've done this. Drop on floor. This will speed up your workflow significantly. And let's also just go ahead and take those chunks. Now, here is the... Oh no, I thought of a way to do it! Oh, I'm a genius! I don't know why I didn't think of this before. See, the reason I don't like having chunks in the stone cutting room is because whoever's cutting the stone chunks will just slowly go crazy because they make it so much less beautiful. But what you can do is this. To mitigate all of the wrongdoing in there, you can do this. We could do something like this, and this, and this. And why have we not... Why can't it be put- Oh, because there is a bayou there. Are we able to put at least a door there? Oh, okay, so I see we need to move around the bayou. Damn it. Alright, an unfortunate location to have a bayou, but alright, I'll allow it. We'll reinstall this here, probably not even necessary anymore, but then we'll put in- <gasps> What is this? Insulting spree on slinging slasher- No, why would it- that is one of my least favorite things. See, the, the reason why I don't like slinging slasher and Dan is because there will be nothing wrong with the colony, and then they'll just be like, I just decided I don't want to be around here anymore. I don't like that behavior. No, no social fights! Good, slinging slasher, you honestly kind of deserve to be banished now. Once I get more nautical pasta farinists, you're gonna be going. You're gonna be going. I don't like you. N most other people are disliking you now. You like the people you started with because they just tolerate you. They just tolerate you. But you deserve to go. You deserve to go. You're a schmo. You're a schmo. Yeah, Dan is Dan is okay. I mean, like Dan is very passionate about what he's doing, though. Is he? Uh, is he glad? Unfortunately, he doesn't get the double burning passion. Uh, buff because he's cutting just stone chunks. He's like, this is beneath me. I am underemployed. Uh, he doesn't, he doesn't like that. I know, we, well, the sad part, uh, the good, the good news is that they didn't really mess themselves up. I've had colonists that I actually valued, like, tear each other's eyeballs out and stuff like that. Um, let's do critical. We'll do this for chunks. Uh, clear all stone chunks. Stone chunks, just stone chunks. Is this one critical? We'll make this one preferred. Okay, so then that's good. That way they'll bring that stuff there, and then watch what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna open the door so that they don't have any problem getting to it over time. And they all get this in. Good, good, good. We'll haul the rest of that urgently too. Just limestone chunks has been the big bottleneck for this uh, company, colony, whatever it is. For our company. <laughs> what is this, like about Schmidt? Hmm. Great movie. Great movie. And this should be textiles now. And this is preferred. Okay, and then we'll get rid of this one. Leopard. Jesus. What was that? Tig tiger leather. Tiger leather. Very nice, though. Very nice. Um, other stuff in the colony. We've got the stone chunks going. That's going to take off the big bottleneck. I'm pretty confident in my people. Everybody's armed with a gun. We have decent enough shooting skill. But we do need to reformat our kill box. We do have hops now, so we just need to bring these things in. And, in fact, we are ready for this next phase. Okay, the next phase. So what I'm kind of thinking is that... Let's look at what's under mountain. We don't want to risk infestations here. I think we've maxed out our infestation chances over here. So we want to be somewhat careful with this. But I'm not sure it's going to make a difference. If we get an infestation in here, we just get one and we live with it. Um, mm, hey. T, T, uh, T, 18, N, K, R, 18, N, G. Uh, thank you very much for the kind words. Hmm. How am I? I'm seeing your ra name wrong. How do I read that? It's like a leet speak word. I'm not saying. How how do how do you say it? Let's go ahead and mine out. So me thinks. I don't want to let out the cold for too long, but I also want to let out the cold for like a minute. I think we need a lot of room. 
for like brewery storage. If we do something like this and then we make this a double entrance right here, we call this a double rainbow all the way around there. We make that a double rainbow. And then the research room, like to hell with the research room, this is fine. And then we do that. We have plenty of room for storing the good brews in here then. If we do this, and we'll also have to build another one of these here just to satisfy me. And then we do this, and like this, and that, and this, and that, and then... Two, two, there we go. Okay, I think this is all too wide now. Ah, that is so nice and good. Wow, that feels great. All right, I, I, I think I'll be able to live with myself again. I think I will. Slinging slasher, who does, who is the plant cutter? Harvest one of these palm trees. We need those things. We need some wood in our colony, stat. And slinging slasher is being very useless. Now, once we get this, we're going to go ahead and build the, uh, the what is known as the door. And we have two wide all around. Good. And then this should be fine for, like, storing our our brews. There's nothing like a colony that's brewing its own beer. You goddamn slob. Uh, uh, don't you love explaining to someone that never played RimWorld how much you hate fights in the colony since organs sell for so much money? The face my cousin made was priceless. Yeah, I don't know. I'm I'm trying to think of how I explain RimWorld. Like, if someone tells me that they've played RimWorld that I meet, say, for example, like when I'm at a bus stop, or, you know, like if I'm just like, hey, have you played any uh, RimWorld? Then, like, I know that I can say some more things to them. But at the same time, like, there is, like, a, a genre of, like, cringe RimWorld humor, of which I'm actually kind of a fan of the cringe humor. Like, you know, like, the cringier the better. Some of it is kind of cringe, but some of it is really funny, though. Like, the OG stuff, and then there's the derivative stuff that's kind of cringe. And, like, I don't... I, it's, I'm a bit cringe, though, and, like, I enjoy cringe things. That that, uh, that being said, that being said, you know, I'm going to wash my hands of this. Like, uh, like, uh, like, I know something. Like, I know something. But, you know, it's out there. There was a lot of it. But I don't know. Like, every couple of years, it seems more novel to me, that that breed of cringe. I like some good. And I don't mean that in a bad way. I don't mean that in a bad way. Yeah. I'm just talking. I'm just talking. Hmm. Oops, I thought I was clicking something else. All right, let's get all that to be uh, concrete because I don't like having non-concrete there. And while we're at it, let's just go make the rest of this stuff be concrete. One thing that we will do, though, is that wherever our colonists are standing for combat, like if they're drafted somewhere, we're going to make that paved tile because I hate it when colonists slowly go crazy when they're standing armed in front of enemies and they're like, hmm, it's not very nice to stand here. And then they snap mentally right in the middle of combat, which would, they would be like, this, the feng shui is off here. Like, and then they run directly into danger and then that's just the moment I, I really do enjoy that's the kind of like non-cringe that I was talking about that's the kind of thing that I go for I like that I like it a lot Wh what is this what is this yeah but I mean I don't know I'm I love some good cringe things cringe all right we'll put that word away it's it's kind of lost all meaning like the word epic you know epic games epic uh Epic fail, epic poem, epic uh, uh, games ag again with the lawsuits and all of the other stuff that they're doing over there at Epic Games. <laughs> um, hmm, to Apple or whatever it is. It's the last time I can remember they came up in the in the news. Is Fortnite still big on a on a scale of one to ten? I think it'll have a. I think it'll be in Renaissance for a while like what happened with Minecraft. I think it'll be like 10 years down the line, it'll be bigger than ever. That's that's my unpopular opinion. It was a good game, it was a good game. They, they did a lot to it that made it, uh, uh well, they, they Poggers, had to keep it alive. This is my guy, he is the cutest, in essence, and I it was love a very watching him get the W's. Oh, Zach President, ah, thank you very much. Much appreciated, my friend. Two stones above research. Two stones above research. Where, 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 who dis? Who dis? Hmm. 
Mm, I eat my food in the stairs. Mm, all right, so now I've now I've t totally lost my train of thought, but still there's more to be done. More to be done. Hey chat, Amazon here. Did you know that if you link your <laughs> Amazon Prime account with your Twitch oh, account, it gives you access this. to one free subscription a month to a streamer? Yep, it's that easy. Now get out there and eat some Pog Champs and love to your favorite streamer. That that is a very funny. <laughs> Thank you very much. No, 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 not necessary. But thank you, thank you, Zach. I I do appreciate the kindness. Um, hmm. Did you make all of that up, or was that like, was that written? So I'm trying to. Was, did you like quote that from the Bible or like the Book of Leviticus or something? Very nice. Thank you for the 500 bits. Much appreciated, my friend. You can say whatever you want. Uh, why there's a gun in the room where I eat. There's drugs and alcohol in there. They just eat on the human leather. Oh, well, we're not quite there yet. See, I do give them psych IT and I give them a smoke leaf here, but I would like that to also have beer on a shelf. So let's go ahead and uh, do... Can we get more furniture to furnish the room with? Mm, end table. We could go ahead and have some of these end tables make everyone more comfortable. Luxuriantly comfortable. Mm, where is that shelf? Dough? There we are. That shelf, dough. Nice, nice. Slinging slasher, slinging slasher. Oh, wait a minute. I just realized something about slinging slasher. I'm a total idiot. You're, oh, you're outdoors. Underground or outdoors. Is he even more mad when it's the daytime? Because I was going to say, let's go switch slinging slasher to the nighttime. But then there will also be other unforeseen consequences for that. And we don't like unforeseen consequences. Lucky, get out of bed, get into the rain, and be converted to our religion. I mean, ideal religion. There we are. Uh, good. This guy might take a little while, but do we have another conversion ritual that we can begin? Singing shanties, spaghetti tasting. We do need to have a good spaghetti tasting. We haven't tasted the spaghetti in a long time. I still don't really know what happens at this event. Is there any description? A celebratory gathering for your fallenists to have fun. A leader will give an encouraging speech, then everyone will socialize for a while. There's nothing There's nothing written of spaghetti tasting, though. All right, even those unwashed pagans will uh, join us in the uh, in the spaghetti tasting. Uh, I believe most of the items that you're seeing, pickaxe, for example, are part of vanilla expanded. Hmm. Yeah, thank you, Zach. Thank you. Well, this was terrible. Oh, you could actually get development points for that. Neat. Negative three mood is not so bad. It's only like a minor rash. A similar amount, like, of, uh, of dissatisfaction. Now, why are we making so many of these meals? Cook lavish meal times four. Make psych IT times four. We have so many... Oh no, these are fine meals, and some of them are lavish meals. Where are these fine meals going? Oh, it's because the entire room is now... Ooh, that's no good. We'll just call it all that. Man. You know what? Me thinks lucky. Where art thou, lucky? Shearing woolly bull one. I'm going to have you do something different, lucky. The, r the place is clean, but now I need you to haul... Haul in the corn, just because there's so much that's just being given away to, uh, you know, the ether, the airs around us. You know when people used to believe in the ether? I still believe in that. You know, I, I think that there's like a great gaseous uh, sphere around, surrounding us on Earth. Oh, dear God, hey, 25 gift subs. Thank you very, very much, Zach President. Oh, that's too kind. Hey, love you back, my friend. Love you back. Gifts for my lord. <laughs> yes, my liege. Oh, no, 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 no. Please, if you have a request though, or anything like that, just do ping me with that on Discord because that's that's very kind, and I I don't take that lightly. That's that's very nice of you. I truly hope that you don't put yourself in any sort of financial need. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, no, the ether, the ether. Yes, it's a Pokemon item, but it's also an ancient belief held before the Enlightenment period. That I also believe in things that are uh, proven wrong. I just like to, you know, uh, I just like to have dissenting opinions. 
a little bit like Flat Earth was too popular for me. You know, I believe in things like uh, spontaneous generation of life. You know, how they put out a thing of meat and then maggots spawned on it. And some people thought like, oh, they came out of the ether. Yeah, I believe in that, you know, just so that I can keep everybody else on their toes. I'm doing it for the rest of you. You don't appreciate it. <laughs> you don't appreciate it. Uh, no, I, I am lying about all of that. I don't do any of those things. Lavish meals. I'm not getting as many mood breaks now, though. Um, we're getting good construction, good construction, good hauling. Yeah, at this point in time, we can just go ahead and... Hey, hey, we're ready for that door, aren't we? Yeah, we're ready for that door. Who's ready for that door? We are. Yeah, we are. We are... I was going to start singing Kesha for a second. Man, I'm a real big... Yeah, I like to do other subversive things like be a fan of... Uh, uh, no one gets the reference I'm doing anymore. And my, I have really far-flung and weird references. Very Zoomer. Very Zoomer. Good gather, gather. Timber Hoth Vandy. Remember how they used to say that in Age of Empires? Timber Hoth Vandy. I don't really know what it meant, but it just sounds good when you say it. Good job, slinging slasher, yes. Slash that sling and sling it with your sash. Yeah, I like that. Cut that. I saw about a flat earth convention on the Mar channel. There was a guy that looked like, Ma I don't know who, uh, Ma oh, Megamind. Youth of the Nation. Oh, what is that? The song by P.O.D.? Man, that was a banger. I loved that song. That's my kind. Of, that's the music I like. That's the music I like. All right, temperature. Uh, so now let's go ahead and do a a thingamajig. So we need to get a um. Where is an opportune place in which to locate this? Okay, I could opportunely locate this over hinder. I mean hither. So if we put an AC unit right here. And then we put in a heater right here. Then we can have barrels and barrels and barrels. But where do be those ba those bandles? There they are. Whoops, wine barrel, fermenting barrel. Want some good old fashioned fermenting barrels. Here we go. So if we have that thing there, then we could probably put it here. How many wide can we make it? Can they cross them? I don't actually know if they can do this. Well, I mean, you know, we don't need the maximum overdrive. We just need something to get started. We can always go into maximum overdrive later on. That's all right. If we do something like this, I just want my pawns to be able to walk around it, you know, and experience it and love it. There we are. We have another one there and another one there. Yes, this will give them enough room to walk around in and frolic and be glad. Now, we just want to completely fill this place with these things because it, you can never really have enough beer. You can always just kind of sell it, right? Ah. Uh, oh, we're being raided by Cromulan Archer. Uh, holder of the dual lands. Uh, craft, crafter of things. Thank you very much for the prime. Hey, Archer, how are you, my friend? What were you guys playing? Hang on just one second. I just got to switch out for a moment. Hmm. Ah, Cromulent Archer, my esteemed friend. Ah, oh, you guys were doing some Zomboid. Okay, here we go. Let me just go switch back out into this screen. There we go. Uh, were well, you guys were PZing it. Tell me about your PZ. You've probably been doing a long raid, a long raid, a long stream, so I, I don't want to uh, keep you too long. One of these days I'll get you on your early schedule. But go, go ahead and go eat some pasta, Archer. But God bless, man. Hey, welcome in, Archer Raiders. Uh, uh, if you guys don't know me, I do uh, PZ uh, and RimWorld, as well as other things. But uh, uh, we 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 go we go a little ways back, Archer and me. So uh, so four times pop. Jesus, tell me about the playthrough, Archer. If you're uh, if you're eating, that's fine, or do anything. But tell me about the playthrough a little bit. I've been kind of on a, a little bit of a hiatus from PZ. I feel like I, I want to. Uh, I don't know, I want to focus on a little bit more variety in the new year, and then I'll come back to that. I'll come back. We'll always kind of come back to that. 
Hmm, pesto. Lucky Dan, you are psychologically unstable, but uh, let's see. Okay, well, we do have charity people. I don't really have that much silver. Well, I do, but I'm lying, so I won't give it to them. Why would we give it to them again? Why would we give this to these people? They're not part of any faction. So someone's just unhappy if we do that. Insane zombie levels, not ramp so real bad from the beginning. Can't escape it, jeez. Well, I feel like you're pretty equipped for that kind of thing. Like, I don't know, you're, you're probably one of the best PZ players out there, I'd have to say. Sag indeed, sag indeed. Uh, line, uh, let's see. Hey, welcome in, welcome in, Raiders. Charity and Rimworld. Yeah, I mean, like, I think of charity and Rimworld as we just take you. Like, we just take you. You know what I mean? It's like Soviet Russia in here. In Soviet Russia, yeah. Chariot, uh, char charity, take you. Ah. <laughs> uh, oops, we can just reinstall that one there. And expand this one. So now what I'm going to try to do here. Yes. Uh, if only Cromulan Archer would let me do this, which he never lets me build doors in RimWorld. Uh, one day I'll get my way. One day I'll get my way. Is, uh... To put down this stuff. Good, we're bringing this stuff in here. And look at how amazingly Dan is just making all of this. Oh, Dan. So long have I resisted Cromulan Archer in trying to get you to do this. And now it's finally working. Finally, I can be free of his... Of him and his... Uh... Uh... uh archery. I, I, I don't know. Your channel doesn't really have anything to do with archery. And mine doesn't really have anything to do with... Uh frogs so I guess it's acceptable I guess it is yeah I don't I don't like Archer at all I don't like him in a world where everyone is playing Lost Ark everyone is he's here to say there well I've been trying to resist him because he's been trying to use you know mind control on me for the last few years of course of course you would too you would too no that's a, no that's a lie that's a lie all right where am I going I just uh, transport pod, do we have... Oh, you're already dead. It's all right. I didn't like you anyway. Are you related to us in any way? I did miss you. Oh, no, you're from Northern Finlore. I did like the Northern Finlorians. I wouldn't have wanted a pyromaniac, and you're also incapable of caring, which is, you know, sharing is caring, and caring is, uh, available at a hospice. There we are. That was, that was a little dark. I don't know why I said that. I was thinking of... I think the reason I was thinking of hospice is my cat basically is in hospice care. Uh, the cat is... The cat is not doing too well. And kind of out of nowhere. I felt a little bad about it. He's been... Uh, he was like my childhood pet. It's been a long time. But, you know, it's something you, you, you gotta experience every now and then. It's what makes you human. It's what makes you human. Are frogs venerated in my ideology? Not in particular, but... You know, soon, soon. Now, we will learn of the effects of beer. We will learn of the effects of beer. Any tips for RimWorld when using the vampire mod? I haven't played the vampire mod. The only person I can think of who does a lot of good modded stuff is my good friend, Mr. Sam Streamer. He's more the expert than I am at this stuff. I just kind of come back. Um, I just kind of come back in every every now and then and think of, well, what if I did this? But he, he really does a lot of interesting playthroughs. I, li I like his... I like his channel a little bit better. Um, <laughs> not that ambiguous guy. Um, mm. Here we go, heater. Okay, heater. I suppose that having just the heater in here is actually a good preliminary uh, thing. Oh, wait a minute. No, we don't actually need this. Ooh, alas, alas. Uh, no, we don't need this either. So what I wanted to do before I was rudely interrupted here was... Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> um, air conditioning. Air conditioning. So air conditioning and heating in this room should give us enough gumption to begin our next conquest. Here we go. Uh, let's do this. There we go. I'm not making any sense with what I'm saying. I don't know. I'm just Sometimes you just say words just into the vacuum because they're words. You know what I mean? Damn. Debug can fix the issue, but it's perfectly fine. Can you get a move? Any? Archer, have a good day, my guy. I hope you had a good stream. Thank you very much for the raid. Good night, Aya. So much. Uh, mm, 
Mm, hey, Duckers, thanks for coming around. All right, so we've got the, uh, we've got the, uh, what do you call this? Uh, fermentation, I guess like kind of a beer cellar is all you'd really call it, a fermentation room. What is, it's not like a winery. What is the word for this? Like if you had beer fermenting in a room. And can we get to that? No, we can't get to that one. But one, two, three. I guess we don't want to block that thing. Three, four, five. We got like a enough of these things in here that whoever comes in here will just be inebriated immediately. And that feels great. Man, I, I really would like to. This is like the only, like, I, you know, if I had a, uh, if I had a, a beer closet, I'd have, I'd have more friends over. You know what I mean? That would be a nice, that would be a nice thing to do. Mm. Moonshine pit. Stockpile of dump. Brewery. No, like a fermentation, fermentation Food station. I snack. like that the best. I don't know, like brewery? I guess it is kind of a brewery. Is it being brewed? It kind of makes me question what happens at a brewery and I realize that I am a bit of an like a an uncultured swine and that I don't really know what's going on in the in the silos at a brewery I always thought there was like a little man in there who was just drinking beers and he was pouring them out of the silos you know what I mean like there was just a guy in there when you go to one of those bougie breweries and there was just a guy in there and he was just like peeing out beer or something Still could be. I still have yet to be proven wrong on this. No no one has been inside of one of those things yet, right? Hey, Boodle Gromit. Boodle Gromit. Hey, God bless. Thanks for the four months, my friend. How are you? Ah, <laughs> uh, Crafter. Have I seen it? Re Meister Eckhart. No, I've not, unfortunately. Hey, Jackal Bunny. Thank you for the prime. Yeah, fermentation. Fermentation. Okay, so that's just in the brewery, German breweries. So I guess it must... It's limited only to places with leader hose in, I suppose, then. Leader host, and I suppose then, <laughs> what a what a funny play on words. Oh Jesus, uh, leader hosen will always be funny. All right, a little bit of smoothing, a little bit of smoothing, and since no one will pretty much ever be in the in the fermentation station, I like that. I'm gonna start saying that now. I'm gonna start saying that. We're gonna go ahead and just put down some floor. We'll do pave tile, because I like the way it looks. I just I just like it. I just do. Well, let's put it down before the dirt goes down so that we can see it. Because I do believe it inherits its ground type from whatever's underneath it, right? Okay, that's enough, probably. Is this dirt? Mm, rough hewn limestone. Okay, we're, I think we're good. Oh, this will be a nice room to get done. And yet at the same time, no one's really doing the plant cutting. I already said my piece on why I don't want Slinging Slasher doing the plant cutting. I think we're going to have Adalong prior, uh, prioritize this as a two. Simply because we just need more of it. Adalong, what have you been doing anyway? Consuming fine meals. Harvest the bamboo tree. Good. We just want somebody as a first line of defense. I would rather that two tasks be getting done slowly rather than one task being getting done fast. Have I ever been to Disney World? I've been to Disney World twice in my life when my parents took us when we were kids it was fun i liked it i liked epcot it was <laughs> i've never been to any of those places <laughs> never actually left the country i am an uncultured swine i i truly am i would like to travel i would like to travel i don't know where i'd go though i think i'd like to make up my mind or have a reason i had more reasons too i find learning languages was fun somewhere i could learn a language probably some more spanish because i just enjoy speaking spanish um, ja, 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 and all of that good stuff, you know, <laughs> whenever I find myself on Spanish Facebook, uh, I do love some good Spanish Facebook. Uh, it is, uh, there are some people I, I know who really do read it out like that, and it is, it is very fun. It is very fun. Uh, mm. Mm, okay, let's install this over here. Give them, give them something. Give them something in which to have hope. So, Slinging Slasher, how do be thy room? Somewhat impressive, somewhat impressive, mediocre, somewhat impressive, decent. Well, I haven't had mood breaks from either of these people, so what has even been causing Slinging Slasher to go cray? Continue the conversion. 
the beatings will continue until the what is it what how does that saying go the the beatings will continue until morale improves and i managed to save this colony but it's done. i i did have to uh i did have to save scum this colony once more i know but i'm pretty bullish on uh maybe not necessarily most of the facebook stock but uh but uh, I would say that Spanish Facebook uh, is doing quite well. If you heard the news of Facebook lately, it was, uh, I think they lost a lot in one day because what, they actually lost users? But I don't know, they don't really have like a, mm, like, I don't know, it, in a way, a lot of their products are kind of like fads, you know, like Instagram and like YouTube isn't, I don't really think it's a fad. Twitch has a little bit of, Twitch is kind of a fad. It's like the cool place to be. I don't really know how the dynamics of these things work perfectly, but for somebody who's been on these platforms, I mean, I kind of need to have an opinion on social media. Um, I'm like, will will this platform still exist in a couple of years? <laughs> you know, but I'll say this TikTok is very popular with the kids right now. With the kids! Timu Veju uh, and other people, it is very funny. His friend uh, is interested in learning about other cultures. He wants to host you at this. I uh, will not do any work. Okay, so this is hosting a guy for eight days in order to get Glitter World medicine. Eight days, this is kind of a long time, though. Like, just to have a guy sitting around doing nothing. If we had more colonists, then our ratio would better. I would take it for the Glitter World medicine. But I don't... Uh, Pesto tried to convert Ren to his... I don't know why Pesto tried that. I don't have anything to do with any of that. No. Speech, Dan. Speech. Salty Spittoon. Yeah, we're at the Salty Spittoon. Have I tried the deep storage mod? Yes. I, I mean, at this point in the colony, I could go ahead and install deep storage. But I just don't really want to add anything else in. There's too much good corn. What? Are you, are you telling me that you don't like having 30 million stacks of corn around? The one thing I don't like about, is it deep storage... It does take colonists a longer time just to grab a resource out of something, so that's not too much fun. But enough of that. Enough of that. Mm, now we need to go ahead and make... Oh, we need a brewing station. So, hmm. Brewing station, shmrewing station. Me thinks... I should not have made a few of these, actually. Let's go ahead and just cancel one, two, and three. We will be reinstalling these over yonder. And then, and you can do these. One, two, and three. And there we go. And now we can go ahead and build production. For yes, now it gets piratey. Savvy? Let's have a parlay. Oh, yeah. This is the tale of Captain Jack Sparrow. Pirate, so you know how it goes. Michael Bolton, everybody. Viewing art. That's a that's an outstandingly uh questionable way to view the art. Alright, but I'll allow it. We got the hops. Mm, slinging slasher. No, me thinks Chef Boy RD goes in and builds this. Build this, Chef Boy RD. Oh, and we are actually running out of storage space. We have to expand again, expand. Good. I really haven't given myself much normal storage area. Oh, dear God, we have a lot of these. Do we have any more bills? Good. Okay, that's fine. Well, we have most of the art in place anyway. Let's put this one... Where do we even need it anymore? I guess we could just start filling up the hallways with stuff. Let's put them in various workshops and things like that now. Put one in the kitchen, because why not? Whoever's in the kitchen might go crazy. Uh, we could put, do one in the infirmary. Let's do another one in the infirmary, only because when there's blood all over the floor in the infirmary, it does tend to become less impressive. We want to just make sure that it's always impressive, for that matter. Mm, Q ailed. Yes, we're going to have... A, everyone's going to be inebriated. Man, I really want to get some Dwarf Fortress on this channel. I can't wait till Tarn finishes Dwarf Fortress, because I haven't wanted to invest the time into learning the UI, only to have the game be released immediately after I learned the UI. I was like, this sets me apart from everyone. And then after that, like, the game is just released in all of its Steam glory. Um, but, uh, but I, I love Dwarf Fortress. I do love it. Or it was a game that, I, you know, I haven't played as much of it as I would like to say I would, but I was like, 
this seems amazing. And therefore, I will probably be spending the next few months exploring a lot of other games up that alley that I would like to do, like Cogmind. Um, I know a lot of these are much less deep than it, but games in a similar headspace, you know what I mean? Caves of, of Cud, of Cud. No one really knows how to say it. Um, other stuff like that. Already working on the brewery. Good, good, good. Beer and food when there aren't... Yeah, I know. We need to get something that will prevent scurvy. Oi, what do you say about mining? Oi. Uh, I feel like we're in a lead up to a joke. Uh, nobody's ever said oi to me. I don't know what to do. I'm from, uh, I'm from, the. Uh, where do people say oi? People say oi. I like that though. Maybe I'm gonna say oi to somebody. <laughs> like, let's just be like, oi, thanks. No, I, I feel like just in my, in my cadence and, and tone, if I said mate or oi, <laughs> I would just, it, it wouldn't sound right coming from me. Australia, Australia, ah, opportunities. Japan, yeah, I was thinking like the UK. Did they say that in the UK? There's all these different turns of phrase. You ever go to another country, though, and you just start trying to sound like him, and it just sounds weird? Like they'd prefer that you just talk in your normal accent to begin with? In the UK, we say, oi, mate. I think I'll just steal some of your phrases. <laughs> oh, bloody hell. Bloody hell. In a completely, like, American... Uh, filthy American way. Nah, there's nothing so wrong about us. Most of us are, uh, well, it was quite a, quite funny to watch Robot when we raided Robots the other day and he started <laughs> saying that he was an American. <laughs> I, I just think it's funny now that so much of my work is online and I have more interactions with people of other cultures. <laughs> One would never have thought that we would be in this situation so many years ago, but it's like, uh, uh, now we're, we're there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it's one of the one of the many reasons I enjoy rating rating him so much. I, I like the way he talks. I like the way he talks. Ha 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 ha! Bullocks, yeah, bullocks. Oi, in it! <laughs> oh man, I could go all day. Maybe I'll do some of that in the next trivia thing we do. I love I love the trivia sessions. Lattes, all right, okay. Looks luxurious. Global learning factor, but <gasps> ooh. Oh, well, that's not just good for researchers. That's good for basically everyone. Oi, that's good for everyone. Oh, excellent. Yeah, I may need to install Ogre Stacks. You know what I also like? Ogre Stacks and LWMs. Is it Ogre Stacks or is it Deep Storage? I think it's Deep Storage. And then... LWM's deep storage and Netrvz. I can't say the name that mod. I'm not against adding more mods on this playthrough. But there we go. Hmm. Limestone. Limestone. Look at all of that good, good limestone we have now. And in fact, the one type of trap that we're missing is sandstone, which is, of course, distinct and apart from limestone. We can cancel those two. And let's go ahead and have just limestone. Now, limestone is great. Don't question it. Um, limestone is great for so many reasons, most of which you will never know. Uh, wood, 97 out of 120. Come on, why can't we build this? Adelon, go ahead, go ahead. I want beer. I want beer for my colonists. There we go. Ooh, look at that nice, make wort. Oh, grape must. Unfermented cider. A lemonade, there we are. Make is it wart or wort? I think it's wort. If I am not mis, why do I sound like Gollum when I say that? Wort. <laughs> wort. Real question. Great. Uh, I forget my old friend. Have I forgotten my old friend Gerald Williams? Not at all. No. The reason I haven't gotten back to Gerald Williams is I wouldn't want to just kind of keep capitalizing on the same playthrough. Maybe sometimes I will come back. I always like coming back to Tor Solo. To be fair. I kind of wanted to do another torso lobe, but I don't know. I just find that if I keep trying to revisit the same ideas, it always just makes me feel like I can't think of anything new. So that's why I'll usually try to make something new, even if it's not as good of an idea. Someday it'll come to me, you know. Probably like five of my ideas are bad for every good one that people like. I certainly liked the Spore one. I think that one was fun. And I'm glad to see it's gotten a little bit more uh, 
like love from the YouTube algorithm, but it's uh, it's good. I'm I'm blessed to be able to play games like Spore when I've never put them on my channel, and when they're also, how old is Spore now? 2008. Spore is 14 years old, guys. Jesus. It does kind of it does kind of determine what I can do though to a certain extent. I think it's wort wort. I guess I'll oh mate, it's wort. <laughs> That's all I need to say. I just don't say the R. Ah, uh, look at all of the wort going in. Temperature is 70 degrees, so the ideal temperature is 45 to 90. Now, keep in mind that when it is at a temperature that's above or below that, it will start to spoil, and that won't be good. That will not be good at all. I don't want to revisit my popular series. Excuse me, sir, have I seen YouTube? Um, to a certain extent. I mean, one of my series that I did, I revisited the Gerald Williams series, and it, uh, it actually, folks didn't really like it as much. Uh, but I always find that it just kind of gets to be like lesser versions of the original thing. Kind of like, you know, how a sequel is always worse. It's not necessarily YouTube, though. I think it's just a similar concept to how sequels are never really as good as the original thing. I might revisit every now and then. I've had the thought of doing a spin-off channel where I just do short videos and they're all like just deep existential stuff, which I, I think would be really fun to do and funny. But I didn't want it to really feel forced in any way because I find that when I do do that in videos, uh, there's a lot of people who really enjoy it, but then there's a, a couple of people who just are like, this is boring, this is stupid. Um, and I, I do want the channel to be about gaming in the end. Large infestation, that's interesting. Oh, that's a good spot. That's actually a great spot for an infestation to happen. That might defend us. No lie. That is, on the other hand, a spot that I have never seen an infestation happen. I find, yeah, you know, honestly, like, um, just if it's creative, if it, if it interests me, I'll do it. I don't, I don't want to feel like I'm doing the same thing over and over again. My god, that's something you don't see every day. This is vanilla expanded stuff, isn't it? Oh, God. That is a large insect. Yeah, I know. I've never seen water insects. These might be impossible to kill. Will this get bigger? Like, will it start to grow exponentially? This is awesome. No, I mean, if this really did take off, I would just leave the colony. Yeah, mortar. Except, look, it's... It's underneath a mountain. This is the most dastardly placement of one of these things. A l either one, a lot of mortars. Fortunately, it's in a spot where I don't think it's ever going to bother us for a while. There may be a max expansion radius here. They will fight the gorillas, though, too. I hope that either, yeah, Flammenwerfer, or we get a, uh, uh, a doomsday rocket launcher. I've done that before, and it has caused... A ruckus, but this would be an amazing end to the series because it's always interesting. Always interesting. This is Zerg, baby. This is Zerg. I really hope that no one's like, ooh, food, and decides to go over to them. My god. What is the ins- what even is the insectoid queen? A giant genetically engineered insectoid responsible for creating new spawn. Mother to the insects of our hive. Doesn't do the heavy work. Oh god. People of creating new larvae and should never be allowed to settle down. Well, she's going to settle down here. She's going to make a whole house. I mean, how can we even deal with this? I have only five colonists. Well, I think we'll just let this cancerous tumor uh, devolve, evolve in our colony. We'll watch them. I, I like to observe them. I know we can't burn the water either. Literally no way to prepare for this, though. Just leave. You'd be better off. All right, I know which way we won't be going. We would be better off just building future walls to fend them off. Hey, welcome to our colony. There's an enormous insect swarm a few blocks away. Man, this really hurt the property values of our colony. Okay, let's add another area to the not safe zone. Uh, let's clear out the safe zone. No one ever goes over here, or just for that matter, into this entire corner of the map ever again. Let's just forget it. No, I, there's no insects here. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, those. Oh, those are our, uh, those are our friends. Those are our neighbors. Yeah, we have to do everything they tell us to, otherwise they'll kick us out. How many is that? Okay, now, I mean, conventional wisdom says this. 
charge at it, even if you lose some colonists. But for this big a group, if I charge at it, I will lose all of my colonists. I'm better waiting to see if they decide to kill us, and then running away if they decide to kill us. On the other hand, if we can get someone like the Empire... No, you don't expand over here. This isn't for you to decide. If I don't... I know they do get bigger. I know they do get a lot bigger. But it's also very interesting. All right, I'm just going to let that continue over there. Ah, uh, roof collapse. Okay, going to continue to ignore it. At least they'll support themselves with how much they'll mine out. Now, what they are going to do is they're probably, in all likelihood, going to mine out about this much area. If they continue... I've never seen them expand over the entire map, though. Until they do that eventually. And I also haven't seen vanilla expanded ones. But this just made this playthrough a whole lot more interesting. The water will slow them down, so with seven guns... Na seven guns? I know, but at the same time, we don't even have... We have, like... We're like, this is a bolt-action rifle here I got in my hands. I got it from my granddad. Like, we don't have the kind of firepower that we would need. But at the same time, it is going to get exponentially out of hand. It's going to keep reproducing. Mortar's too inaccurate. Yeah, they do stop after a while. The truth is that I can't stop them now. We'll probably all die if I go after them now. If I anger one of them. No. No, and I also enjoy watching it get out of hand. And on the other hand, too, it is kind of a defense from raids. If we get a really powerful raid, it will also just be interesting to watch. I play RimWorld not to raise a colony guy, but only on the off chance that I will get the opportunity to see large-scale destruction. It's like watching two ant colonies fight. You know, just so fascinating. Like, uh, horrible and... Quest failed caravan raid. Well, okay, well, that's irrelevant. I wonder if we could sort of, like, blow up the mountain over them. And the other opportunity here, too, that I will say is they don't sleep in the water. Uh, it's been known that you can just put down chairs near them and then wait and then set the whole world on fire. So we could theoretically, like, stack chairs all along in a line until it gets up to them, set them ablaze, and then surround ourselves in, like, a five-thick wall so that they could never hope to get through. I, I don't know. I've got a couple of ideas, but uh, yeah, one of them will happen. It's going to be a major set piece, though. No, oh, yeah, it's, it's fascinating, you know? Everyone likes watching an anthill run around. It's always interesting. You don't see it every day. You don't see... You just don't see it every day. All right, we'll put one there, and we'll put one there. Let's uh, not... Let's ignore our most probable doom for a few minutes. Shall we? At least it wasn't, you know, I'll say this, at least it wasn't inside of our colony. Of all the places it could have happened, here, I guess here would have been good. Here also would have been good to have these two fight. But this was a pretty good spot for this thing to have happened. If it had happened in our base, I probably would have been dead. But I am going to save, though. This, uh, there we go, just a bunch of random numbers. Okay, good. <laughs> it doesn't matter what I do. It doesn't matter what I do. Hmm... Really? You watch ants fight? I mean, I've never... But it would be a spectacle. It would be a spectacle if I caught it once. Wasn't there a YouTuber who did that? He made a video of, like, a bunch of ant colonies fighting. That was one of the more interesting concepts I had seen. But I was like, why would you do that to those ants? Didn't the ants just join together and be like, no more video? If only ants could collude. Okay, I heard an explosion... So yes, it is expanding. Man, what really bothers me is that they can create their own food. They're kind of like the mayfly, right? Does the mayfly... Well, the mayfly isn't quite like that. But poop. There goes more poop. Oh, yeah, we don't want any of that. I uh, don't claim any... Oh, those are glow pods. Well, I guess we could have some lights by the time that they're done with what they're going to do. All right, well, we have enough beer. We have enough beer. All right, and let's go ahead and just take this shelf here. Uh, we will undo all storage, and we will just say beer. All right, so, you know, massive insect menace. Eventually, we will get multiple doomsday rocket launchers, though. It's the only way of really dealing with that. No more problem over there. Ren is getting done with research. Ren, how much faster can you research? And we should also go ahead and try to clean up this room for Ren. So he has a clean room. That's good. 
the cleaner it gets, the faster the research gets. Slightly impressive, but we want to get him to a, a faster pace. For that, we will need a multi-analyzer, though, and among other things. Um, uh, among. I said the word among. <laughs> among. Oh, among. Among we? No, not among we. Among who? Among them? No, not am among I. Among uh, her? Among him? No. Among us. Yes, among us. I've never played among us. I've never actually played it. I haven't. I haven't. I think I, I think I did. I turned it on for five minutes. Mm, no execution. Oh, alas. Alas. This has been in the most interesting of colonies. Stand there. Convert. Man, this guy is really stubborn. You will be among... You will be... <laughs> you, I said it there. I said it. You will be among us. Oh, I didn't even mean to say it. Don't you hate it when you say it and you don't know that it's coming? They seem so tranquil and, like, serene, though. What is that? Is that one eating one of the smaller ones? It does seem as though the smaller ones grow into the bigger ones. Spellipedes, do spellipedes grow into mega spiders over time? I really do love what Oscar and the Vanilla Expanded team did with insectoids. I should have just done a video on insectoids when that came. Actually, in fact, I did do a video on insectoids, where we just fought insectoids. I think that they're the best enemy in the game. It kind of makes RimWorld seem like Halo. Holy cow, that is a big snake. That thing's going to get effed up, though. Let's watch it happen. Look, yes, it's going. Ugh, no, come on. Go over there. Love watching wildlife duke it out. In the meantime, um, hmm. What else can happen? Snack will eat insect? No, I think insects beat snack there. He thinks, did I try playing as, oh, the Mantodian race. The Mantodian race is one of the best looking mods. I still want to get into it. I believe my friend Coco plays, uh, did a video on a lot of the mods. Uh, that did quite well, actually. And he did, um, he exposed me to the Mantodians. The Mantodian race is one of the most interesting in the world. Mm. Right, me thinks double wide wall. Mm, okay, so that we have more area. It won't look perfect because it won't be perfectly square, but that's okay. More roofs are coming down. Um, I actually, I would like to see them develop it. It's, it's nice. It's like watching someone else develop a colony in your colony. You know what I mean? We will unbuild this, and we're going to go ahead and do... Let's do... Mm, I'm trying to make it so that I can rebuild this so that it's wider and longer over here. So let's go down. If we do this. Sorry, Psychoid. I'm probably going to just ignore you. H, 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 H. Just harvest it all. Get it all. I want it out. We're going to be using kill boxes here anyway. Um, and in fact, you know what? No. Just no more sewing. Oh, who exploded? Who exploded? I hate that. No exploding. Bad exploder. Reinstall this over here and do this one over here and then do this. Okay, this is nice. So you see what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to make a plan. A plan is when someone has an idea and then they try to make it happen. Um, if we do this and we reinstall this here and then we take all of this and we put this here and then we keep on doing all of this and we put this into this and maybe not quite like this but we do this instead of this we do this and we do this and this and this and this and this and then this this and this and this then things start to happen we will also need these just in case i don't trust two wide i trust three wide 
okay, look, that anaconda has decided it is going to re- inhabit this space. No, don't do that. No. You weren't supposed to go there. Look, it's a giant anaconda. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't start getting on the... Don't get me started, giant anaconda. My anaconda don't. My anaconda don't. My an... There we are. God, they would not stop playing that song when I became a sophomore in college. And the issue was I had an ear problem when that happened, so it was so loud. Get rid of it. There we go. Good job, everyone. Good job. Victory for the forces of democracy. Yeah, damn Zoomers coming into my house like that. Zoomer anaconda. Look at it now. We've got all of this good... Ooh, anaconda... Cobra meat. Yeah, should have... It should have had buns, hun. Should have had... <laughs> what a funny song. You've detected a gold mining working site for... And I can't even say that. Entgosadio dynasty. I feel like a lot has transpired in this. Ah, so nice to see them all sleeping peacefully. This really brings me back because I used to always get killed by insect armies. Maybe it'll happen again. Oh, this guy is... Says there's an enemy shit post nearby. Seven subjects and there may be an unknown threat. 37-year-old bodyguard wounded while traveling... No, I'm not going to rescue the weak. No. Absolutely not. I look for strong people to join us. Uh, I guess we could get the trees over here because it's probably the last we're going to be allowed to leave our base. And in fact, we might want to build a whole other third wall just in case if this... No, uh, it's probably not that urgent. Oh, well. Oh, well. That's the last we'll ever see of that. I must say, though, that it is starting to look slightly more secure. So we'll just trace out the rest of this so that I can show you what I am aiming at anyway. Uh, that and that. I think you know how I build my kill boxes now. We will reinstall this here. And I think... Maybe one more thing of these right there. So that enemies come out here right? Because that way that gives them an appreciable area from which to shoot. Because you don't want to make it so that your colonists can't get out there. You know what I mean? One, two, three. You sh they should be died down enough from the spike traps. We could, of course, always make it longer. Should we make it lo what, what do you think? Is that enough or do you think we should make it longer, guys? Yeah, I know. Enemy shit posting in the wild. Well, I mean, it's going to be a kill box, and then it'll be a... Uh, well, this is a kill maze, and then a kill box when they come out. It's probably enough. Okay, I don't, yeah, I don't want to... I don't want to make it... Some people are saying make it bigger. No, I... I won't give in. I won't... I won't ever give up. Reinstall this. Let's put this here. Reinstall this one. Here. Here. And then we put this here. We put this here, and then I think that's pretty much it. Okay, good. All right. Huzzah. Hubla. Sounds like a lot of hoopla. Good. This is the plan. Okay, now you can see what my ultimate plan is for the base. Ha uh, ultimate plan, ultimate plan, ultimate plan. Uh, oops daisy I wanted to do this instead. There we go. oops daisy oops daisy Uh, do we do this here? Actually, yeah, we could do that there, 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 there. That's good. Alright, so ultimately we'll make these more out of limestone than the wood that we've been using. And let's also go ahead and reinstall this door over yonder. And who can do this? Pesto, why don't you go ahead and put that door over yonder? And then we can actually go ahead and just mine this out. Good, you mind that. Why are you so slow? Because you are on every drug in the game. Okay. This is one reason why we need beers. We don't want them all to be on smoke leaf all the time. It just it slows everybody down. It slows down work. I know it makes them glad, but they're just like so slow, man, you know? They're so slow, man. 
We can expand this out here. And we'll reinstall these on the end. We might as well just get our money's worth out of these. Inspired recruitment add along. Okay. Doesn't really make a difference to me. We install this here, and now at the end of a of a much uh, awaited construction project, I will finally feel safe. And they call it a mine. A mine. Mm, anyone hear that they're doing Lord of the Rings for a uh, a secret lair magic set at the end of the? I don't know why I got so into Magic: The Gathering lately. I might do like a mythic climb if I can on here on Twitch and then do a video on it. I think that would be fun. Who's only 58? Who's only 58? Hmm. Hmm. Hoopla, hoopla. Baby got, uh, screw has to go run down some, hmm. Yes, I am in my, I am 58. So I am 58. Hmm. All was silent then. Mm, ship landed frigate. Who dis? Ultimate disposal mech life. Oscar. Oh, this is Oscar. Interesting. Is ground recon operation. I believe this is just on the map, right? So then they will ultimately try to kill us. Okay, well, they can do their best, but they'll, they're going to have to get past the insects. I would like to just be in a turtle base where nothing happens, and all outside us, it's complete chaos of insects, mechs, and other bad people around. But it might be a little while until then. Ah, microelectronics! Ah, ying! Yes. I am genuinely excited for this. Uh, what, are, what is usually the next thing? Well, we do need to get a high-tech research bench. Huzzah! 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 Uh, do I play Yu-Gi-Oh? I did when I was a kid. I haven't played it in a, a long time, though. Long, not in a long time. I think that's pretty collectible, though. I don't know. I just I got into it since I since I moved. And, uh, and then I went back. And then I went back home. And it turns out the scene isn't actually that good for it, but it does bring back good memories. Good memories of uh, playing with my cousin when he used to come over. I think he taught me how to play. I need to try Commander. Oh, I'm trying to get a Commander deck. I know, I'm I'm really out of the loop here. Mostly I just play limited. I'm trying to build up my collection and then I'll maybe I'll get a pre-con or something like that. I think it's good though. Commander players are always just such like good jovial people. They always seem like such kind folks. I've had I've had good conversations. Generally speaking of all the magic players that actually I've I've had a very good experience. Some people experience a lot of toxicity whenever they play a game like that. So far my experience has been all good, but it it, it largely depends upon what your uh, community is. Mm, they came out with a new Yu-Gi-Oh game recently. Hmm. Hmm. Mm. Heat vent the research room. It oh yes, the research room is cold. Thank you for that. Uh, 58 degrees. Ah, true, truth, truth, truth. What we should do here is... We could connect these two, but I kind of want to keep that separate and distinct from my kitchen. I think I'm just going to put a couple more heaters and things like that around. So if I put this in this room, in theory, that should diffuse into the other room. And I think I'm going to put this here. Because we do have the airlock. Yeah, and I mean, it is also the rec room. They kind of need that. That is somewhat necessary. And then we'll just leave this one open. So whenever somebody walks in there, they'll do that. You want to limit... You don't want to have to have a heater in every single room. There are some places where you need it. Like if you live in the Arctic. I think I've even needed two before. I'm not sure if that even makes a difference or I was just being stupid. But... Oh, yes. Now we can finally start to get our, um, our kind of ultimate kill box ready. So, ooh, transport pod crash from the vampires. Laser is my enemy. He's a miner and a shooter. Iron stomach. That's good. Heat inclined. Ah, uh, and a uh, coward. Uh, he is a crafter. He's of another ideology, though. Okay, so what does this actually mean? Fighter flight is heavily in the internal flight. He will try to run or hide. Will he even be able to do combat? I'm going to go ahead and say no. No, bad thing. He's also near the bad robots. 
Yeah, I'm going to leave them there. Uh, normally, I would like to bring in an enemy faction, but I kind of welcome enemy factions at this point because they might help me do away with this threat. It's not so much of a threat, though. It's just a fascination. Oh, are the new precons coming out on Friday? Ooh, I did a pre-release uh, event, which was quite fun. It was good. I don't know. I just I enjoy um, I enjoy playing with the people that I meet. I or I, rather I enjoy meeting people while I play. But I've gotten more into collecting it lately. I don't know. It's uh, the secret to happiness is just collect something. So said an old wise woman. So for me, it was that. Hmm. Floors. Concrete, concrete, concrete. What do we have? We do almost have enough for some sterile tile. Hmm, will it be sterile tile? All right, uh, let's go ahead and do... I think it's under MISC. Yep, comms console. Always needed. Everybody needs one of their, these things in their lives. Comms console, and I'm going to go ahead and put in one orbital trade beacon just in our generic stockpile goods room. It's not really the right size, but we can always reinstall if we need to, because this is more kind of workshop in here. Uh, and will that be able to reach our wires? Now is when we really start playing RimWorld, when we get the, uh, when we get the comms console online, because then you could just start to trade for any good that you don't have. I mean, look, we've been down, like, components, just silly things here that we could always get more of, but this does kind of accelerate everything else, because you can always just buy whatever goods you don't need, and generally speaking, we have a surplus of something else that we don't need. Go ahead and take that out of the ground. And there is more in here, but I don't really want to force anyone back into this. Let's just get the steel, though. Mm. Vehicles precons looks really sweet. Oh, yeah, I played against a guy who did a vehicle precon deck the other day. It was actually a, a very long game. It had amazing sustain. There was this one blue legendary creature. I think it was some legendary creature. I can't remember what it was, but she kept bringing things back from the grave, which was kind of... Uh, well, a little a little annoying because I wanted to kill the things that I killed. But it seemed like a really great deck. Wolfhounds. Okay, I think that we could take these things out without compromising our defenses. Now, the beauty of this type of thing is that you can always just walk in front of it. And look at how nicely things can be stopped in the water. In fact, I might even just get rid of this bridge. I rebuilt this bridge before, but look. They will be slow. And if we just leave this up, then we can put a turret here and defend ourselves with the river. Maybe I will do maybe I'll do that. I've never used a river successfully to defend myself in this game, but it would be a very nice thing to have. Uh, maybe you stand right there. I'm not sure. I think it's two colonists that they can shoot through, but I'm not positive about that. Uh oh, that wasn't as many as I was expecting. Okay, everybody get back. Ooh, Ren. Oh, this was too little too late. I regret that. Ah, uh, crap. Come on, Ren, get out of there. No, no, dude, get out of there. Dude, ah, uh, no, it's only going to make this worse. Okay, everybody just get back because the spike traps will kill them faster. No, no, don't kill our poodle. All right, you can kill our poodle. We have to get Ren back. How do we get him back, though? Is he going to die there? Three hours. I, come on. Ah, oh, this dog is really messing this stuff up. Just kill our dog. Kill our dog, please. Good, good, good. Oh, no. The dogs just literally walked right in. Because they found a slight exploit. Ah, oh, Jesus. It had to be when we were still in the middle of building this thing. Okay, Pesto, go save Ren. Three hours. I think that he will make it. I'm just going to go ahead and up his medicine. Ooh, that was not good. Uh, we may have only little world. What is it that we have? Slinging slasher. You'll be fine. You'll be okay. Jeez. All right. That wasn't that smart. Ooh. Anyone lose anything? Ren will... Will Ren live? Ren should be fine, I think. You just got bit a couple times, or bruised, not even bit. That's good. No skin biting. Good. And now this is why I put this medicine here, just so that if there's ever an emergency like this, they can get right to it right away. All right. See, no problem. He'll live. Uh, I will switch back over to herbal medicine. 
Uh, whoops. Tending to run. Good. I will save some of that medicine for an emergency. I know who let the dogs out, who who did be let... Uh, hmm. Clothes. Ooh, an authority cap so that people will know that I'm in charge. <laughs> you ever just walk into like a bank like that? I'm in charge. I've got on the hat. Or like a McDonald's or something. I'm in charge. Or a subway. Uh, have it your way. Or what is what is the subway? No, that was... What, what is the subway slogan? I don't have enough choices in life, so I go into subway to feel like I'm in charge. Isn't that something like that, right? Eat fresh. Oh, no, what is the... No, but they did have another slogan, right? Respect the hat. Yes, that's the eat flesh. That's their, that's their slogan. <laughs> oh, that was really funny, Rugbean. Thank you for that. Yes, how could I forget the subway I've been going to? Uh, they always had... Um, um, uh, I got nothing. That was really funny. That was really funny. Shoot that da I want that damn dog dead. Finish them off. Grab his gun. Finish off. Finish off. Finish off. I know that they're bad. No one likes it whenever I kill cats and dogs in this game. But I do. Subway, eat flesh. <laughs> I get why that's even more funny now. Oh, God. Oh, because it's eat fresh. <laughs> why did that take me so long? Why Why did that take me so long? <laughs> oh, that was really good. I thought that was just randomness, but it was actually... It was intelligent, informed randomness. Wowzers. I, I'm gonna have to... Well, there was Have It Your Way, and where was that? What was the other slogan? Maybe it was that ad campaign that they ran at Subway, though, where they were like, I don't have enough choices in life. Like, <laughs> all the ads were all of these people who were just very upset because it's something like, I failed a test, I got fired from my job, I was, I was grounded, I don't know, like all kinds of bad things that might befall you, but like, but I drowned, but I drank a cup of my own tears at Subway. <laughs> like, and they even let me decide on which sorrows to drown myself in. It was the, I was just sad whenever I heard the advertisements. It was great. Uh, it was really funny. <laughs> oh, I live for this. I love for this. This is why I love streaming so much, you guys. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. I missed, I missed that before. Uh, God, Neil Bobson, Snail You, and It's Lava, Lava, Lava. And Rando Dave, thank you very much for the subs, my friends. Uh, yes, it was, oh, well, it was, yeah, it was Burger King that was half it your way, but then there was a whole, they were running a shtick. I don't know. They all have the same slogan pretty much, right? What did I do? I went to this McDonald's the other day. I, I haven't been to a McDonald's in a while, so it was like, I'm in a McDonald's. I went with my father, and this is actually my second eating fast food with my father's story over the last year, but we ordered food, and then, like, they didn't do anything. <laughs> Like, we just ordered, because you, now you have to order from a computer when you go in, because they're trying to get rid of more of their workers, so they're doing away with cashiers. But then the people were like, uh, like we aren't delivering the food, although it said the food was delivered, so I was just like, okay, fine, whatever, we'll go get it. But then <laughs> we ordered one thing, and they just said, do you still want it? <laughs> and like, there was no indicator. So I was just like, really? Like, <laughs> I, it was super funny, though. <laughs> Like, I, I didn't care because we were having a good time, but it was just, it was just odd. It was weird. But, Subway eat flesh. Mm. That, that is one that will live in infamy. Mm, zero out of ten components. We do need a miner now. And why are these cows not reproducing? Reproduce cows. Reproduce. Do we have enough time for these animals? Yes, of course we have enough. Look, milk, 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 milk. Need a research project. Oh, we do need a research project. Uh, maybe hospital bed. Well, we could always just go with... Sterile materials will speed up research, so we'll go for that. Speed up the overall process, you know what I mean? Hey, white wolf on the hunt. Thank you very much for the prime, and thank you for the kind words. 
KFC Beyond Chicken looks a little bit beyond those races that used to do. Oh god. I haven't been to KFC in a while. It's good to get in those places though. Like Mc McDonald's is really nice. You know, it, there was the whole kind of health food craze, but they still kind of hung in there and whatever you think of all that. Okay, Ren has just had a great time. There's enough colonists now that I am a little worried about my drug policies and somebody getting addicted though. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is just avoid disaster because this can be bad. Um, social drugs. I'm going to go ahead and say every two days only because should someone get into a binge you never know and i don't want them to rely on smoke leaf either just because it's not good 2.0 days psychite i might leave but now they have another uh thing to sustain them so where is beer beer we can also have beer i would like them to have beer every day that one i would actually like them to do 60 percent yeah, even if you're just slightly upset, go ahead and have some. And this is for addictions. We might as well do it in there as well. Because we will have quite a lot of it. This will be basically Germany. McDonald's near my house lost the plot. They put the fence around. The oh, God. Yeah, every McDonald's kind of has its own story. Eggs are an overpowered source of food in this game. Yeah, we have a lot more food variety. I'm probably going to need to install ogre stacks or something like that. But look at this. Look at this. We could get some sterile tiles in here, and that'll be nice. Man, try saying sterile tiles. It's so hard to say that. Uh, what could we use at this point in the colony? Look, Pesto has removed the hat. Wow. I mean, I haven't seen Pesto's fine mustache and beard. Wow, I didn't know what I was missing out on all that time. Unfortunately, remove the hat before it was in bad quality. Let's go ahead and have them make some more hats, too. This will make them gladder. We'll make until we have, eh, let's say, four. Visage mask. Well, let's make a couple of visage masks, maybe like two. Just have a couple of extra things. Three dusters in case if they need them. Three of those. And let's make some, like, summer sun hats. Flop hats. I really liked these shade... What was it? Shade cones and... Not a hood. That's a little bit too shady. Broad wrap. Tail cap. Ooh. Authority cap. Mm. Sombreros. Work to make skill crafting. Make a sombrero. Now, what will the sombrero do for me? What can the sombrero... It raises shooting accuracy. Oh, because it's like a Mexican standoff, right? Shade cone. Shade cone. Hmm. Equip delay, insulation, cold, armor, heat. Okay, so this actually does give us a little bit more insulation from the heat. I like shade cone... You know, we're doing shade cones, everyone. Have yourself a... Uh Shade cone for Christmas. All right, now I'm really running out of things to say. How long have we been streaming? Two hours. Two hours now. Wowzers. Try saying purple burglar alarm. What is that, like the limmy thing? Purple burglar alarm. But I'm not Scottish. Hmm. Yeah, like a Western. Sombrero can do for you. Ask not what the sombrero can do for you. Ask what you can do for the sombrero. Okay, JFK. Sombrero edition. Ask not what a sombrero can do for you. Don't ask a sombrero anything. If you see an, a sombrero, do not engage it. It is an inanimate object. No, I have no idea. I'm just turning into verbal diarrhea now. Perfume department disrespected. Oh, no. Must be a dignified room. Oh, yes, this is because of the, uh... Of course, because of the, um, thing. We're going to have a conversion ritual. We're going to try to get Lucky. Lucky's expectations are moderate. What? What, what, what? Room impressiveness is completely impressive. 
You aren't even one of us, Ren. And even you think that this is a good idea. Oh. Pass the peace pipe. Go ahead and build some columns. We need to put four of them in the room. So let's put them in the absolute corners. I have no idea where else to put them. Four columns. What else do we need? Uh, terrible conversion ritual. No development. Okay, that's... All right, I was... Does it actually set him back? Man, it's taking a long time to convert Lucky. Where do be Lucky? There is Lucky. Be converted. Okay, we are slowly wearing him down, though. Major Breaker Ask on Slinging Slasher. Okay, now I think that we have just about colonists, enough colonists at this point that we can take him out from being under, uh, outdoors entirely. Yeah, so, despite the fact that Slinging Slasher is a great planter, I don't think Slinging Slasher is going to do that much planting anymore. Slinging Slasher, although you are gifted in this, you are mainly to be a miner, or like an underground planter, you were just not born for it. Uh, another thing I'm going to do is just do mine connected ores. That's usually a good control to do. It automatically gets where all, all the ores are for you. Obviously. But still. Bug hive has reproduced itself. Additional 44 tiles to mine. Okay, this is getting huge and awesome. I like that, though. Wergenzola. Thanks you for, thank you for the prime. Much appreciated. Yeah, four golems. We need to build four golems. My precious. It's nice, though, that they at least take out a lot of the mountain. You know, they get a lot of work done for you if you're trying to clear out an area. As long as you have a lot of fire. But I just don't know why they haven't fought the gorillas yet. Look, they're living in such peace with them. It's like Tarzan and the apes. Except Tarzan is just a, a bunch of bugs and not a man. I would buy that, yeah. I think that could be like a new Disney spinoff. Disney's trying to change its image all these days, you know, like... Not, they're not always about a mouse anymore. Maybe they don't want to. Maybe they're tired of talking about mice. Of mice and men. Where Mickey Mouse just strangles someone else to death. <laughs> That's how that book ends, you know. I, I ruined it, I'm sorry. Of Mice and Men is, is a very good 80 pages of literature. Or whatever it is. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, Randy could nuke them. Casper does kind of behave like Randy in some ways. It's been a while since I've tangoed with Randy, though. I'll allow it. All right. I'm out of water. No. What will I do now? We have wood. We don't have wood. We're still waiting for it. All right, well, if I... Ooh, that is a full forest. La 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 la, look at the full forest. That's nice. Oh, so lush and ready to be downed. Hmm. Me thinks... Yesternight, we did not do enough work. Betwixt the trees and betwixt the mining... Pass it... Now, what am I even saying? Uh, let's go ahead and... Get double beds everywhere. I like to give all my colonists double beds simply because if they should get into a, you know, a, uh, uh, an adult relationship in which presents are exchanged at night um, uh, in private, they will, uh, they will require double beds because present requires a, uh, ha a giver and a taker. Um, so... All that being said, we gotta make these double beds ready, because ultimately we'll make this into just a prison. Yeah, just a prison. And that's how it works. Roof collapse, that... Man, I keep thinking that's us. Man, look at that queen, though. She certainly is big and thoraxy. <laughs> yeah, Grapes of Wrath. No, I like Grapes of Wrath. I think it was a great story. It was a great story about a big... Dumb guy who killed a girl. Uh, yeah, and that's how it ends. Uh, I mean, that part was kind of a downer. Won't get, won't get, don't get me wrong. But otherwise, great story, great story. I can't remember what it was about. I just remember that I liked it. 
Don't you hate that about reading, though? You know, it's been so long, and that's why I made it. I made efforts to memorize book or parts of books that I liked. Yeah, I really do regret that, though. Sometimes that reading doesn't stay with me. Like it, it feels like, why am I reading then? I think it's more just about the habit of reading that makes reading worthwhile. It's not necessarily about how much you remember or the content of it, but how it changes you. And it probably left some imperceptible mark on me that I have even forgot about. Mm, how are we going to go ahead and finish off the rest of this? I think too wide is fine there. I'm really not going to get over this bog. I'm really not. I can't fill that in in any other possible way. Yeah, I think that's about as well as we can do. But that's still, all that being said, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Let's go ahead and... Um, Let's just debuild this bridge. We rarely need to get out of this area, so let's go ahead and um, remove... Yeah, get rid of it. I don't know why I left it there all this time, anyway. I mean, maybe it was easier to come and go, but this area has nothing in it now. It's like a done area in Factorio, you know? Hmm. Mm, Graves of Farm Family struggling and dying. Uh, yeah. Kind of like, oh, sorry, I wasn't thinking, did I say Grapes of Wrath? I meant to say of mice and men, if I did. Yeah, Grapes of Wrath was, that's about the Jodes. Tom Jode and the family, and the Reds. What do they call them? They called them Reds. The Okies, and all of that. That, that book is more just about uh, an American culture, though, in that. There's an interesting lyric chapter in that, though, about the turtle in the road. But I guess what I'm trying to say is that, like, in general, like, you know, I forget a lot of the things that I've read. There's a couple books that I keep with me. Ooh, mad rats. Ooh, mad rats. Where are the rats? Could be a shooting opportunity. Do we have... We don't actually have any... Oh, no, we do have traps up. I just didn't see those. All right, let's see how the raps do with these... The raps. I mean the rats. Oh, they do be attacking the doors. There they go. Come on. Come on, rats. Ooh, like a rat you've gotten through the... See what I did there? Wow. That was... Something you don't hear every day. All right, I'm out of things to say. Ah, uh, bulk goods trader, actually my favorite type of trader. Welcome, guests. Welcome, welcome. This is vanilla RimWorld. This is not modded RimWorld. Welcome in. Please don't bite, eat, be eaten by the robots on the north or the insects to the south. Just come on in. Just come right the hell on in. Now, do they have a way of getting in without going through spike traps? They do. All right, so our trader friends will be welcome in. Uh, oh, that's a rat. That was obvious. I didn't notice that one get through. Death in eight hours from, come on, you can't even hit a rabid rat? Yes, you deserve to die. You really suck. Man. Bad person. I'm gonna give Ran a work drive. Mmm, yeah. Yeah, I like that. Schnoogle. <laughs> That's a good name. Hey, thank you very much for the prime. Ah, much appreciated. Faction mod now? Uh, we do, uh, yeah, we have on pretty much all the vanilla expanded mods. There's a couple of other ones, too. All right, let's get this, let's get this bridge gone. Major break risk. Why major break risk? Adelung, because, why, she was flung hither and thither by a rat? No, don't give her that medicine. She's not, come on, rat attack isn't that important. Sign, uh, lucky will get herbal medicine, care or worse. We'll also put some herbal medicine in here. We might as well. Or, eh, it's frozen. Nah, it's fine. It's just a hop, skip, and a jump away. See, this is what I like. When a colony is well run like this, when it's stable and moving. Stable and moving. That's what I like. I like that slinging slasher is doing good work. The workshop is there. All of the, all of the pieces are in place now. And all that really remains between us and, like, ooh, uh, I don't know why I'm saying this, I should just be trading right now, is really just a bulk of resources that we need to acquire. 
Uh, GGMR554, thank you very much for the sub. Now, we can afford to sell, I would say, 4,000 corn. But we can get practically whatever we want. Um, we will take all of your pumpkin spice coffee. Is there anything that I really want from this trader? We'd better see that first. Hot sauce. Hot sauce and ketchup I haven't really used. Hmm. Let's give away all of the clothes that are pretty much at... I know it's a f lab coat, but it's only at 40%, and I don't want my colonists to be miserable because of tattered apparel. Hmm. Acts of kindness, 55. Thank you very much for the sub. Hmm. 56. Acts of kindness. What could that be? Like a... Like, you were stricken down, but I loved you too. Flash grenade belt. Mini turret pack. What the heck? Small pack of ammunition and components that control a shoulder-mounted mini turret. That sounds super badass. Steel flak helmet. I'll take that. Mechanite pants. What the hell? I think I'm wearing those right now. Perplexingly th thin but durable nanite-infused pants. Embedded nanites. It optimizes oxygen in the legs. So what does this do? Move speed plus 0.2. That's great. I'll take that. It's 439, but I mean, we've got cash to spare. We've got cash out the wazoo. Pockets with a gun. Oh boy, time to get the pasta train. And Volrath, thank you for the uh, for this for the prime and the bits. Much appreciated. Flash uh, cloth corset. Hmm. Cloth gloves. We'll put away these because we don't really need these. My God, we're going to have so much crap. Oh, steel table, steel countertop. What is this for? Commonly found in kitchens and bars. What is this? Let's just get all of the random items that we might need. Flammability. Just the countertop. Cloth veil. I was thinking that these people would have like a lot of... Do they have stone blocks or anything? Well, give me all of the chocolate. That's the truth. I don't really need more bulls. I don't need camels. I really think I need berries. I could use chem fuel. That could be somewhat useful. Neutroamine would be good, too. Uh, components. I'll take all of those. Uh, cloth. Not really needed. And let's make this... I'll sell you my berries. I want to keep my milk. I'm going to sell you 5,000 corn because we just have so much of it. So much goddamn corn. There it is. Yango12. Thank you very much for the prime. Much appreciated. Hmm. Are we missing anything? Did I miss anything in this screen? I, I would also just like to get rid of all of the random leather. Probably, eh, actually, maybe I could keep some of this. Though the stuff that I don't have in high quantities, dog leather, bird skin, regular cloth we want to keep, dog leather, blue hide, camel hide, camel hide we don't really have much of. Panther fur is extremely useful, so I might keep that. Smoke leaf joint. And actually, these things are very... These things are good just for profit-taking, so I'm going to go ahead and sell some of these. All but maybe like 10-ish. Uh, latte coffee will keep. Give me your steel. I don't really know how the rest of the stuff works, though. Beer will also sell you negative 100, because we don't need all of this beer. We're going to have more of it. Lab coat. I think we're good-ish now. Yeah, except that was a lot of trading. Phew, Jesus. I guess this will be going to YouTube. Mm, lucky. Force equip. Now let's just see how the hell this thing works. Who has really gotten themselves into a mess? I think, uh, man, I've really got my people hurt in bad ways. But the neutral amine will be useful for the um, for the medicine production eventually. And another thing I might end up doing is just moving the steel out of here. So we could take all of the steel and put it somewhere outdoors. Oh, there's just so many options. But it's good. I mean, it's a good thing, though, too. I, I would be remiss to say that we're bad. All we really need is another melee fighter. Let's go ahead and start to focus on that. Focus on weapon production. Mm, do we have the components that we need? Yes, now we should have the components that we need. So let's get this high-tech research bench going. That would be most welcome. Then we can research faster, and then we'll delete this thing. We could keep it around, but it's just not going to be going as fast as the other one. 
All right, so nice. We have the high-tech research bench, and I bet you that we have enough for even more productive things. Do we have, like, uh, what is that item that... Multi-analyzer helps it, but isn't there also something else that would f speed it up? Increases work speed when placed near a drug... Whoops, okay, so that doesn't work. Barber's table, operating table, face painting table, stylings... God, there's so many different things. Light ball, gibbet, gibbet cage, egg box, sarcophagus... Uh, are the DLCs worth the money? I would say that if you first are playing the game, don't buy the DLCs. I'd say that if you get a lot of hours in and if you really like RimWorld, then maybe take a look at the DLCs. Filing cabinets, good. This is this is exactly what we needed. Hmm. Yeah, honestly, I mean, I could play the... I had a lot of fun with RimWorld before that I played with the DLCs. I, I don't really feel like I need it. But I since I've played like 650 hours, I I, I do like them now. How many of these can we max out on a thing? Beauty 5 worked to uninstall. Does it actually say 80%? Does anyone know how many filing cabinets you can put near a thing? I've seen Sam do it because Sam plays with more mods than I do. Is it two or is it three? One per just like toolbox. Alas, alas. Ooh, no, no. Bad man, bad man. Don't do that. Will they attack us, too? This could be it. They messed with the wrong bugs. The bugs are coming. Oh, God. Listen to all of the children celebrating. Best case scenario, we get a lot more guns and we get everything back that we just sold to the trader. Worst case scenario, they coming. It's, it's like LSU. They coming. My god. We're getting mauled. They're going after the cow simply because it was one of them. Oh, it's horrible. Oh, it's horrible. Oh no, and they're living over here now too. But they're kind of like our defenders as well, you know? Look, there they go eating their things. That was amazing to watch. Oi, mate. That was amaze. Oh. Right now they have like, they have, co they have coalesced with the apes. <laughs> this is like you ever you ever watch Planet of the Apes? No, this now Ape City. <laughs> like why do we don't call our cities like Human City? So why do the apes have to call their cities Ape City and that kind of stuff? Fortunately, these insects don't really mind though if we just take these people's stuff. I mean, I'm all for it. Go ahead, insects. Let's live in harmony. Peace and harmony, I say. Man and insect together to get the flamethrowers ready. <laughs> boomalope, where is the boomalope? I didn't see that. Oh God, actually, that would be a great end for them if they got into the wrong, uh, the wrong fight with the boomalope, because then that would set all of their nests ablaze, and that would probably save me. Hopefully, that would be the last thing. That would not be a bad way to. Uh, what, like an animal psychic pulsar that causes them all to just go get into a massive fight? Ultimately, that's what we'll have to sort of aim at. Uh, actually, I don't think these are worth the risk. I don't want to go out there. I just have to make sure that everything here is forbidden. Oh, no. Oh, no. Wait a minute. No. No. Why here? Why now? No. 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 Don't. Don't come in. Good. Leave. For Why are they leaving? Why are they leaving? No. Keck W. No, I won't allow Keck Wing here. No! Please stay away. Fortunately, none of them hit the landmines. Okay. My heart is in my mouth. My heart is in my mouth. Okay, they've decided to go back. Alright, you know what? We'll do- Ooh, okay. That's interesting. Um, I need, like, a, a screen- We're gonna need a screen door. <laughs> that'll, that'll solve all of this. <laughs> yes, just, we, we put up the screen doors in the summer to fend off the insects. Yeah, the great migration. God. Okay, I tasted the terror. I tasted the terror. The terror. <laughs> Ooh. You know what we might want to do? Seeing as they didn't get themselves involved in any of the traps right there, I'm actually thankful that they didn't walk into any of those because then that would have aggroed the whole herd. 
Maybe I want to bring these traps back for a moment. Just so that they have in a moment to like change their minds. Because it seems as though- Well, what they might be doing is getting pathed through here. Because I don't think that we did anything to directly aggro them. But what I think happened here is this. We need to make it so that they never, ever try to mine against this wall or pathfind over here. So I'm going to go ahead and leave a little dirt path over there. Just so that if they want to... Yeah, this is more their base than mine now. We need to respect that. Um, but if they want to, they can just, you know, come through. I'll have less of a kill box. But I think what the AI said was, you are away from your house, pathfind back. And they were like, oh, base in the way of my way to the house. Mine out thing. And then some of them were just like, go through thing. And then they went through that. And if one of them had gotten aggroed, it would have looked like I was being aggressive toward them when I did nothing to try to harm you, so... No, I would never, I would never hurt them. Yeah, they just live here now, and we just, we pay rent. It's okay, it's okay. We'll get through it. In the meantime, let's go ahead and um, be less aggressive toward nature and put our arms back on. We might also make the entrance further over to this side, too. That could potentially save us some pain in the future. Actually, I think that would be a great way to do it. Let's go ahead and reinstall this here and here and here, only so that they don't do exactly that again. We installed this here. Of course, this could interfere with raiders in other ways, but I have other things that I'm more afraid of now. We'll make it kind of like a Kenshi base where people need to walk through the water to get through you, and it's just hell if they want to get to your base. But that's the way it's going to be. That's the way it's going to be, my friends. I know, I, I welcome the Tyranid overlords. Man, I miss when Tyranids were good. Back in, like, 08... Sterile materials. Okay, wonderful. Now we're actually working a little bit faster. Let's go ahead and get toward um, deep drilling neural supercharger. What's that? Transhumanist. Uh, ID this is from ideology? What's this? Wow. That is advanced. I don't really know what it is. Um, Multi-analyzer. We do need machining, so we'll go for machining. Where, Where is machining? Machining. Smithing. Yeah, we need to... We have a lot of technology to catch up on. Um, I suppose we could wait on the beer brewing, but at the same time, it's just going so swimmingly. I mean, look at how well we did in that last trade that we just had. We got quite a lot done there. I'm proud of us for that. I'm proud of how far that this base has come in that we've really reached sort of an end game type of state where there are, like, systemic issues with the map that we just can't get out of like that. Like, oh... Okay, that's fine. I'm not so worried about that. Animal transport pod trash. I totally ignored that. We lost a dog named Magnum. Uh, he's food now. More like numb. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> dogs. Delicious dogs. Um. Oh, God. Can you, um, can you equip that? Yeah, get the light SMG, get the mini turret. Good, so you've got both. Nice. I feel defended because Ren is qu quite an important, um, quite an important columnist here. Hmm. Can I really do anything else to advance this place? We've sold away a lot of our food. I would like to get our fridge up and running a little bit more, but how is our wealth doing? History, it has climbed, qui it has climbed a lot. <laughs> it has climbed quite a lot. Uh, you are good in there. How is this room? I mean, the entire colony is pretty much perfectly run. Nobody's getting into mood breaks anymore. There's a couple of things that they're upset about. Wait, where is the poop deck? Perfume department disrespected. No, we haven't been disrespecting that. We would never dream of that. The perfume department? Lucky, can you build? There we go. All right, now the perfume... I'm going to respect the hell out of the perfume department. Good, go there. Now what else does it need? It needs uh, the columns, and it all needs to be floored. Well, it is all floored. Isn't it all floored? Isn't it all floored? I guess we need sandstone tiles or something like that on all the ground. Um, what else do we need? 
And we really... Oh, we could do carpets, I suppose. Do we have carpets yet? No, we'll still need to unlock those. Damn. Column three out of four. Come on, let's go, people. Chop, chop. Get it done. All right, now is it all floored? No, we still need floor. Where do be the floor? Where do it be? I, I believe as long as it's all smoothed, right? If not, I could just go concrete or something like that. Well, we'll see. But it's a stupid reason to not have a thing happen. Oh, this is interesting. Green Cove bandits. Uh-oh. Dude. No. Not like this. All right. What is it going to be? Why, why there? <laughs> why there? It honestly seems like kind of a bad spot for them to come in. I'm trying to figure out, though. I know they can... Well, they can't punch through... Me this is all regular roof here. This is just normal... Well, it's not roof anymore. But who is our one guy? Okay, you're there. Are you going to be able to get it there in time? You're not going to be able to get there in time, so we might as well just end up shooting these people. If they have melee, we're a little bit screwed. Who is the best in melee here? First off, turn on your shooting frenzy. Because this is the best time to have come. Shooting melee, you're decent in melee. You're better in melee. But I think that you're more important to the colony. Uh, you're also good. I'm trying to decide whether I want to clog up the entrance. We don't want them to be able to come through and overwhelm us, though. So I think I'm going to move you there. And then I'm going to move the rest of everyone else right behind you. But also, too, they can see here. So maybe actually right here is... Yeah, let's do here and here. Nope. All of you stand there. But you two stand there and there. That way they can't fire at a lot of us. But, all right, what do they have? Mostly shooters. Let's just get into cover. Nope, stand there. Ren, are you in cover? Dan, you get over there. Who is the best shot? You're a much better shot. Get in there. You belong there, you belong there. The rest of them are just preoccupied with destroying everything. Adelong, how are you? You're over there. Ooh, damn, Lucky is not doing too well here. I might lose a colonist, but this is a stupid, weird raid we've gotten. Oh, you've got the turret on your back. You'll be fine, son. We want to get Pesto ready to pick up whoever falls, too. Okay, we have the first kill. Why aren't you shooting anyone? Stand there. Pesto, pick up. Rescue. Assume the position of cover. This is a weird fight. Uh, I don't like this. Rescue. Dan. Get in there. Why are we losing this one? Oh, probably because we're using long-range weapons when they're using short-range ones. Jesus. Get out of there, then. Equip the SMG. No, ah, uh, don't come at me, bro. Don't come at me like, not like this, no. Not like this. Good, good, good. Taste my SMG. Uh, I don't like this at all. Death in five hours. Heal. Man, come on, Adelung. I still weren't ready for this. Oh, come on. Rescue. All right, we have reached an impasse. I don't know how... Th how did these people do so well? Probably because they have actual armor. Uh, slinging slasher. Okay, go ahead and put on the steel helmet. We didn't have any armor yet. Yeah, I don't think it's time to evacuate the base yet. They can't really set it on fire. They could set this room on fire, but they might waste some of their own time in here. And I've also been trying to save my people rather than just kill everyone like they have. Um, Pesto is tending... Can you tend? No. 
Uh, I take care of my people, though. They're just monstrous killing machines. They're bad. All right, so they're just busy. Uh, we're going to totally lose that room. Unfortunate, but kind of true. They'll be distracted by the dog. How can we, like, surprise them? Get everybody into a shooting frenzy around you. Lucky will Lucky survive? Man, Dan, come on. I am invested. Can I just turn up the heat and melt them with the heater? True! Actually, yeah. Try that. Burn them? Yeah, burn them in there. Uh, and then if we stand in the doorway, they might not be able to get out. So if we stand right here, we could... Yeah, we could just roast these guys. They'll probably try to leave the room before that happens. But that might be our best shot at it. Dan should rest. Pesto's going to just be healing everyone. I hate it that you have to manage both at the same time, though. You know what I mean? Eating fire out. Don't worry about the fire. Worry about living. Dan, you can actually just self-tend. Dan needs to be assigned to doctor work. Okay, I've assigned it to you, Dan. Tend to yourself. Tend to that one and then that one. There we go. I just don't want to miss a single thing. I hate losing even one colonist here. We had worked so hard for this. I'm not going to let... I'm not going to give up on this colony. All right, what is the temperature in there? 140, 141. It's turning into an oven in there. They might just get themselves killed. Um, you know, I'm just going to stay out of that doorway, too. And in fact... You can go around, because if they try to get out of a door, it might be that one, and they'll have a better shot at escaping. Can we... In and you know what? In fact, what I'm going to do here is this. Watch the... Watch me go! Oh, this is such a dirty trick. Ah, uh, yes. This is very... Ah, uh, I'm so glad that I thought of this. Ah. Uh, what a great idea. Just seal them in like the cask of Amontillado. Yep. I mean, I... I performed a, a, a violation of dog rights, too, but... Uh, they forced me into it, so... Yep, this is, this is how you commit war crimes in RimWorld, as they say. But, um... They forced my hand by by drop potting into nowhere. I mean, come on, that was that was pretty cheap what they did to me, right? They were just like, "Yep, we're here." I, I was I was pretty worried about that. Yeah, I know. If only I could kill the bugs this way too. Six hundred fifty degrees. I hope you enjoy it. Burn in there. Man, they destroyed all our drugs, too. Well, they're going to be high as hell by the time that they're dead. This is why this game is great. Just all kinds of crazy stuff you can do. Good. Poodle 2 is dead. 800 degrees. 79 degrees in here because of the way that heat moves around. But they shouldn't be able to destroy these walls in time. Who is the goat, after all? Who is the goat? Oh, yes. I should have thought of that from the very beginning. Did I leave another door open? Did I leave a door open? That door's open. I mean, they're all just going to burn and die now, though. Death in 20 hours. What kinds of burns do they have? Okay, these guys are all burning. Yeah, they're done. Of course they're fleeing. I don't want to lose their goods, but they're, they're probably going to die. All right, well, that was an exciting way to end. Uh, raided from a random... I would consider it kind of a cheap drop pod, but I used cheap minify everything tactics, and I think it was... Uh, I think it was completely worthwhile. I wish we had managed to get to some of these guys, though. We still might have time. I think I am going to leave it there, because that was an exciting place to leave, and I, I do like ending on an exciting note. Uh, should we finish... Ah, we'll finish off this one bit. What should I do with these bodies? I'm wondering if I can get any of their gear off of them, because they have good stuff, and they used up so much money worth of stuff in here. I know the shotgun would be nice, but I'm also like... 
If I go in there, I might risk setting more of my base on fire. Let's reinstall these walls. And reinstall these ones. There, there, and there. And let's just make sure that all of our people live. That's more important. Okay, they're good. Dan. Resting. Yeah, go ahead and rest, Dan. That's not bad. Lever action shotgun. I mean, that was the whole reason why we lost that fight in the first place. I thought we would do fine in that. Yeah, fire is basically the solution to everything in this game. That's fair. I mean, anything like overwhelming such as that. These guys we might even imprison. They, they'll deserve it. I don't like them. But they'll probably burn to death before. 89 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, uh, actually this is not working. How many tiles does fire have as a spread radius? I believe it's two. Doesn't make much of a difference. Okay, don't let our whole rest of the base go on fire, though. This was the advantage of building in stone. All right, I think we're good. We are good. Who needs rescue? Ren? Nah, Ren doesn't really need it. He's fine. He's fine. Ooh. All right, it looks like I didn't get anything, but I just kind of wanted to get that over with. Rescue... Good. All right, I'm going to need to check on my colonists. There's going to be quite a lot of triage to make triage to make up for that. I bet you that our wealth just went straight down. Yeah, just dumped off right there. We lost a lot, but we'll uh fortunately out on the hammer. All right. I think that was I think that was a good stream eventful. We'll check out maybe recruiting one of these guys later on because if they cause that much trouble, we might as well have them do something good for our colony. And all it was was all of the money, but now we know to make everything out of stone from now on, and most of the stuff in that room was wood, so it was good. It was a good, uh, clean-out. Oof.